and we are on how you doing guys hello everyone hello everyone everyone's soon to be here i am anthony this is the net we're the net and anthony you probably know that because you've seen us before or if you see it in our name of the channel when you clicked on it so here we are we're out in the street it's the first of the month we do the first of the month right the net every month on the first we go live so we're here with you right now we are right now here Boop. we are right now here in front of macy's in parkchester if you could believe that yes we're on metropolitan Avenue. There we are. Cool guy. Hi, how you doing? Arno, cool guy. How are you? How are you? Dean X. Hello. Hi, Dean. Hey everyone. If you come Good to in see you. for the replay, if welcome in into on our the, channel. On the new or on the replay, welcome to our channel. Every We're month, here in the Bronx. As you said, we go live every month. First of the month. Today it's a day live stream. Correct we decided to come to the Bronx. The Bronx, the wonderful Bronx. The we're beautiful in front of Bronx. Macy's and Metropolitan Avenue in Parkchester. Hey, Marianne. How you doing, Marianne? How are you? Marianne, how you doing? Dean, how you doing? Cool guy. I should know there's some more people. I see 13 I'm people give it piling a into minutes. the room. <laughs> we're gonna like. Am I supposed to follow you now? You can follow Woo! me. Follow me around the. the what do you call? It's <laughs> the net. There's Macy's. There's me. Alan the homie. Hi, How you doing? Alan, we got uh, Nebul. We got Jackie M Hi, Ambrose. in the house. Ambrose. What's up, Ambrose? How's it going? So good to see everybody on a nice, wonderful day. Uh, let's see. This cool guy in the Damon. house. Damon Dunn, Hi, I Damon. see. I see on the other uh, on just the waiting big for some people band, to come in and letting then we'll some talk people a come in. Bit. Then we'll talk a little bit. We're as I said, we're on, in Parkchester, in the Bronx, the beautiful borough, as it's sometimes known, and we're over by Macy's. Uh, across from us is we went kids inside, place. but there's no a signal. Place for kids. Hi, Maria G. How are you? Maria G. How you doing? Glad to see you too. Glad to see you. <laughs> So we went inside and I'm like, wow, did that bring back memories? Like, whoa. Yeah, we when were actually kid, inside. When we bought stuff there. Yes, we were inside of Macy's. Right here in this entrance is where you go right into the um, jewelry department. This is kind of like the front of it. And I remember my uh, brother fainting right there between those two doors. Going through the first door coming out and then in the second, because it was winter time. And it was so hot in there, and he just fainted. And he I fainted. remember that. Right in between the two doors. You could faint. Heather, Scared how the you crap doing, out of me when I was a kid, because we were really young. Mrs. Hi, Heather, the Wizard. how are you? We have multiple Hi, Heathers Elena, now. great to see you. Elena, how you doing? How are you doing, everyone? Elena from the frozen uh, Finland. I'm another assuming it's chilly fact, there. Another fun yeah. fact, in Parkchester, a couple of blocks from here in this area, is where I got my communion dress when I was young. That yeah. When I was very young. Was it here? Wasn't in Macy's though. No, right? not in Macy's. It was a little uh, store for outfits for little girls. That and I got my shoes here and the veil. She got her shoes. And that was bail. a wonderful memory because I remember being in the back seat of the car after we picked it up. We had gotten a fitting or whatever, and that it was like getting married. And then we were in the back of the car. And I was like looking at my beautiful white patent leather shoes and thinking I was a princess. I've seen pictures of Danette as a little mini bride in a community. Hi, Joe Hernandez. How are you? Good I want to see. see. You. Joe I actually Hernandez, showed it on the live stream once. You did I did show, show it. Did you show it? I did. did you it show was it? like being a little mini bride. <laughs> Straight ahead of us, we got like uh, down, down the block. Oh, hey, wizard, then. Thank you. Now, let's see. Let's, uh, whoop. Down the block, we got like this yes. way. We are on Metropolitan Avenue, by the way, in the Bronx. Now, Metropolitan if you can't Avenue. To the right, Anthony, you're going to show what, where Marshall's is. Kind There's a, a Marshall's. Closer, like yes. Closer. If anybody's from this area, or remember, a Marshall's. 
first of all, if you look up at the top there, oh no, I'm here. stay straight in Marshalls, go back. If you look up at the top there, right here, is like this side and that side, well the trees in the way, are like two um, monuments. And this used to be the theater. This is where we saw a lot yes. of movies growing up. It used up. to be a movie theater. Yeah, I believe Marshalls was a movie theater. Now, if, Hi, actually, Manny if you look you? close, you Manny, how Manny? you doing? If oh, you look close Hi, over Manny. here at this market, at the front of Marshalls, mm -hmm. you can pretty much Hi, see Angel. that it was, in fact, a movie theater, uh, if you look everybody closely. Needs, everybody needs a, a, a break from taxes, April. <laughs> hey, do you need a break from taxes? Sounds like a good idea. Oh, Marianne loves my glasses. These are prescription. Like I got the them glasses? from. Let's what see is the name of the, of the company where we go to? Vision, uh, Davis, not Vision Works. Davis Vision. Davis Vision. They're Davis blue. Vision. They're Thank blue. You. They're very nice. <laughs> anyway, you were going to tell to hear them? that. These are some of the, the many buildings, which I believe construction of Park Chester began in 1938. Yes, it did. Danette told me and was finished a little while after World War II in Hi, 1943. Jack, Major Minis in the house. I believe I saw, who else did I see in the house? Ridgewood, Lisa, how you doing? We got Ronnie C, right, Danette? Yeah, so again, show the Macy's Manny again. Explores. I just want to say doing? really quick. So just We're in front of Macy's. Macy's. Now you know that the flagship store is on 34th Street. That is the original the legendary one. store. Miracle oh. on 34th. Right, well now this Macy's, believe it or not, was the first branch store to ever open after the original in yeah. 1941. Yes. Show the address, 1411 and 1441. 1411, 1441. Which is kind of ironic since they opened in 1941. But also, yes. if you're from this area and you've ever been to this Macy's, you know how odd it is. There's ramps inside. There's uh, the basement, the first yeah, there's floor. Yeah, there's hills. There's the one and a half floor. There's It's just so odd. They have a so one weird. and a half floor. But they downstairs, here. downstairs in the basement is a literal hill that you can walk up and down. So it's kind of built contoured to the ground, Hi, contoured Jeanette. to the to the grounds. We've got uh, Keith Hi, Havens Choppy. in the house. Hi, We've got Choppy in the house. Hi, Dave. I hope you're warm. Hey, hey, hey. Indeed, it is the first Macy's. That's right, it's the first flagship. Macy's other than the 34th Street. Yes, this is the, f the, the flagship was on 34th Street. And this is the first one of the, of the branches. The first of the branches, that is right. Who else we have in here? Darlene W, how you doing? Dave Jeffrey and Niagara Falls. Dave Jeffrey from the frozen north and Darlene W, right there? Yes. Now we're at Parkchester, it's called Parkchester. And what happened was in 1974, one third of the complex was converted to condominiums and with the remaining pork, uh, portion, Park Chester South condominiums were converted in 1986. But when all of this was built, see, when I was a kid, I remember this. I remember the blue facade, pan to the left a little, and the yellow. Do you see that? Yes. And then on all the buildings, you want to start walking? Yeah. And on the buildings on that they built here for people who live here at Park Chester, go ahead, you could say it better than me. Yeah, there's these, you may notice there's these terracotta statues on the sides of many of the buildings, although some of them have been lost. Some of them have been lost. Terracotta statues of like different like kind of like scenes, like uh, there's uh, ones of a, like a man holding a, playing a mandolin. Uh, there's a, right, there's, a there's, a, there's a there's angels, there's firemen, there's a girl, there's holding, a girl, a dove. A girl holding a dove. It's really there's quite beautiful. Dozen, there's hundreds of them, there's a lot of them. 25 of them have been lost over time to time Hi, and Jesus. damage from uh, Hi, weather and vandalism. But many Hi, of them Steph. are high up on the buildings. Some are lower, but most are kind of high up on the buildings. Yes, I did, April. We did go to the movies when I was a kid. Did you, Anthony? Did you go to the American Theater? I did theater? not go to the American Theater as a kid. Desi Des with a four ninety nine super sticker. Let's say. Thank you didn't so I... much, Desi. Wow, we appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Thank, thank you. you so much thank for being you. so generous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
We do appreciate it. Helena said, I'm so glad that you started streaming this early. It's only 8 p.m. here. Well, that's good. Only 8 p.m. That's a treat. 8 p.m. here. I want to find one of the statues on the sides yeah, of the buildings. We will see some. Safe. Uh, eventually but like um, to, to hinge onto that with the statues the people in this area have been trying for decades to get the uh, neighborhood uh, the neighborhood of Parkchester landmark status Hi, Coastliff. which would be which would preserve the statues for uh, you know for posterity it would mean they would have to be preserved and protected. When you say they're protected. lost, what do you mean? Some of them, Some of them were destroyed down? by oh. weather or like damaged or vandalized or like just fell off like, you know, they got old. Darlene W says, member for one month, she's a genius. Yes, you are. Darlene Yay, is a genius. My first month. That's wonderful. Thank you, Darlene, for the support. Thank you so much for joining us here. Cole Sloth, how you doing? Cole Sloth says, uh, my girlfriend and I both have Levi jackets. Is that what he said? Oh, because I have Levi's. Oh, yes. Then that does have a Levi All right, jacket. So you can't see one here. Let's go back. Let's go back in the Oh, there's one right up there, oh, actually. There? Wait, oh, let me get one. you guys zoom away. in. Oh, that's the fireman. Is that the fireman? I believe that one is a fireman. Right. Oh, there's another one up there. Right there is a fireman guys and then look at the up there on that and one up far, there look up there is a white a whiter one there's another one up there and the, these are you're high gonna up, get a we little saw some that were a little bit lower there's some that are lower yeah there you go there's and one way up there and to the right end on that building right up a little there you go go up right there there's, there's another one, one right, right there the also <laughs> then his finger looks giant next to him. Darlene W with a Hi. gift of five memberships. Thank you so much, Thank Darlene. Thank you so much, Darlene. Darlene, I'm going to like. <laughs> That's right, Danette. Thank, Thank you, you, Darlene. So Thank you so much, Darlene. That's We've so got, generous I, I of saw, you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so, you so much. much, Darlene. We really do appreciate it. I saw McLeod. Okay, he got I'll a membership. You, I'll tell you, I see it. Keith Havens, Dave in Bangor, Maine, Heather, Emily, and Frank McLeod were all gifted. Thanks so and much. Thank you to Darlene. Thank you, She's Darlene. The for that. And welcome aboard to the gang who yes. just joined. I hope you guys uh, got a good, oh, a good, a pretty welcome. good view of those statues on the top of the building. Just imagine we'll the stonemasons doing that kind of work on these buildings and put it, uh, basically laying brick and laying art at the same time. Here's another Amer another New York tradition, the New York push cart. Yes. <laughs> All right. and Darlene W says you're welcome. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you very much. Tunisia says hello to Nabul. Hi, T. Hey, T, I just want to let you know something. We went to the post office, our post office box. And actually, no, that was that was that from the, yeah, it was from the post office box. And we found out that your Christmas card we sent you had been given back to us. Oh, yeah, I sent her an email about oh, it. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I... Yes, I sent Tunisia an email. Someone is dying to get into here. My membership expired from Danette and Anthony. I won't be able to start a munchkin wave, says that. Cole Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, oh, yeah, I sent Tunisia a message I'm about sorry, that. I didn't See, I'm not always uh, up there. All right, Alan, we'll see you later. Bye, if Alan. If you can't get back, that's okay, too. Uh, have a I great day. People are working, just like when I'm He's working work. during the day. He's got work. work to do. I know. He's keeping the wheels of industry turning. What's the plan? Sort well, of. We're going to go <laughs> to a very famous... Coastal wants to know what's the plan. The plan is to explore a little bit more of the Bronx, and then we're going to go for lunch at a yes. very... Famous deli. Famous legendary. As, I gotta buckle in. Oh, I'm sorry. Let you do also, that. I gotta be. Remember, safety, this deli folks. was also featured on Parts Unknown on uh, Anthony, Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain show. And 
Admittingly, I don't remember going there ever. I might have went when I was, oh, uh, Darlene loves your hat, when I was a kid. Thanks, Darlene. But I don't remember. I'm going to say I was never there because I don't remember it. You know, there's a lot of places my parents took us, and I don't remember all of them. You know what I mean, Aunt? Yes, no, I totally, I understand. Uh, same, same okay. here. All right. Same here, same now, here. Can't. Hey, all the original in the house. Go to Pelham Bay Hi, Park, Elle. says Desi Oh, we've Des. done that before, We too. have done that, actually. I lived in Pelham Bay Park when I was a kid. We, <laughs> lived, we in didn't live in Pelham Bay Park. We didn't live far from there. We live in Pelham Bay Park, and, well, I lived in Bugs Neck. Anthony lived Danette in Danette went there Bay, a lot. And I did. I mean, I went there in the summer when school was over. Yes. And my brothers and I went with my father, my grandfather, sorry. My grandfather lived with us. And he played bocce. And so he would go in the morning. And when there was no school, I would be in Pelham Bay Park for hours and hours and hours. Hours. So it was time to go home. Hey, here's another All right, uh, so I want to statue. Stop here so you can see that statue. Look at that. That's like a, it looks like a, you know what that is, Anthony? That's a um, flower. So the statues that are. The statues that are on the whole building where people live are lower, so you can see it. Yes. There's a fisherman with a fish. Is that an element or is that a turn? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think there might be a turn. Wait, let's get a better view. There he is. And across the street, you see a dolphin. There's a dolphin across the street. Oh, wait, in this next building here? I mean, not only do you see it on the edge of the building, there's someone with an umbrella. It's also in the entrance. Like, look hey, at guy, the Hey, guys. Hey, Armas Bates. Yes, I want to get a good view. Oh, it's all right. Anybody remember Zaro's and, and the step in. in diner? Oh, you could show it outside because I'm gonna stop. Randy, the slot wizard. Haven't seen you in a while, Randy. How you doing, Randy? Guys, I've got the step in. I remember going into the step in, di step in diner when I was a kid. And Zaro's. You know why it's I remember step, step in. in because it's two steps down. You would step into it. It was two steps down. Do you remember that? <laughs> Yes, it was two steps down. It was the step in because it was two steps down from the. Does anybody remember the step in diner? Anthony, do you want to uh, keep driving around here or just go right to the. Uh, hi, Bamagator, uh, how are you? Hey, Bamagator, how you doing? I'm good. What do you want to do? Do you want to um, drive around a little? Or? I want to drive around a little and take a look at the neighborhood. Well, there's the two places. Hi, Carol. How are you? That guy Hi, thought Chappie. Anthony was talking to him. There was a guy who was walking by. Turned his let, head. Me, let me uh, just go a little bit more to the right. Oh, my goodness. Right, do you want to put in the... Um, Actually, the, I will do that. I'll put place? in the list. Okay. You got you you talk to the Here's the... Oh, the sorry. Here's the uh, L. This is what we call the L. I'm going to have to turn us off or else you'll hear me. What? I turn us off okay. on your phone. So there's the L. Let me go down here a little bit just to show you. I remember as a kid also my father picking up my mother from work. When he got out of work before her every once in a while, he'd pick her up right over here at this train station. And then we would go to the step-in diner or we would go home or whatever it was. And... This is what we call the L. It's called the L because it's an elevated train for anyone who doesn't know. The train goes to Pelham Bay Park, which is the end of the line, the number six. And the other way goes towards Manhattan. I think we can right? get over there yeah. to the right and yep. make a turn. Yep. We're going to make a turn at White Plains Road, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is White w. I didn't. Danette does not have the chat right now. It's only me, so bear with me in case I miss anybody. 
<laughs> and I'm driving. I can't I gotta see take anything. my hat off because it's getting warm in here. Okay, let me lower the heat. This is one of those things where I'm going to have to start, like, uh, telling Danette, uh, like, lower occasionally glance back at the, what do you call? At We're going to the Cross oh, Bronx this. Expressway Service Road. We'll be That's making right. a turn right up ahead over there. My giant finger pointing the way. Ambrose, no, everybody in the house. Hammy J, how you Hill. doing? Hope everyone's doing awesome. We are doing awesome. Castle Hill and White Plains Road. So many memories here. Yes. Desi says she used to take the number. She always took the, took the number six train. I always take the number six train to Pelham Bay Park. Yes, that's the oh, end of the line. Oh, boy, I remember that. That's for sure. Kathy Ranieri in the house. How you doing, Kathy? Hi, that's Kathy. Choppy's mom. How you doing there? We got Kathy Ranieri in the house. I saw somebody who was a long so-and-so. Now, what not did Kathy far say? from here is Allerton. Hey, you guys, those Avenue sculptures well. were amazing. I never saw them before, said oh, Kathy. They're all over. They are. There's they're so many of them, over. too. We only scratched the surface. Should we go back? We could go back and take a look around. Or, or come back another time. All right, like we'll come back. in the war. What we should do is come back in the warmer weather and, and go for around. like a real much longer walk yeah, in and it's out too of the cold neighborhood. Right now. And it's like kind of cold. The net's wearing a jean jacket, as you might have noticed. Oh, I thought it would be warm. The net was expecting somewhat warmer it's weather, but that today. happens with her. You know what it is too? There's no sun. It was supposed to be sunny, and now it's cloudy. So. Bamagata says we're in his uh, in, really in his or her neck of the woods. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Bamagata, we're in. Oh, Hello, cool. New Yorkers. He says beach bum. That is so cool. So now we're. Classy in the house. Hi, Classy. Hey, Classy. Great to see you. So right now we're on, so we're leaving Parkchester, and we're on our way now towards Riverdale, which is not that far. And what I was saying is, is that where we were was not far from Tremont Avenue and Allerton Avenue, St. Raymond's High School, St. Raymond's uh, School for Girls, blah, blah, blah. And... Uh, Allerton Avenue is another neighborhood that I remember as a child. It was an Italian neighborhood somewhat, and then it changed a little bit. But the only reason I remember it is because of the bakery, Allerton Bakery. That was where my parents bought my birthday cake every single year. My grandfather's birthday was February 24th, just like Diana's, and mine was the 25th, and so we would have two cakes, and my grandfather always wanted the Italian cake. When I was a child, I hated it, but I had no choice. That's because he wanted it. And it was the Italian layer of vanilla and chocolate. The and cannoli. It had cannoli. It had rum. It had the almonds on the ends, on the round. The, it was a huge cake. They would get the round, big one, like, like for a party. And everybody would come over, and we'd have that cake. And later on, they started getting the square one, which was a little bit smaller than the round one. It was square. It was still big. And eventually, the bakery left or closed or whatever, and that was the end of that. Des. Now, right here, we're on the Cross Bronx Expressway. Hey, Des. Thank you again. Thank Des with another $4.99 super chat. Oh, my goodness. Thank, thank you, Des. Thank you very much, Des. Thank you. No. Desi, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really say. appreciate so that. Generous. Very generous. Anyway, of you. so I was saying that this is the Cross Bronx Expressway. Anthony, do you have anything to say about this? Uh, this the is Cross where, Bronx Expressway you know, is like one of the more disliked stretches of road in New York. Not a popular stretch of road. However, it gets you to New Jersey. It does get Jersey. you to New Jersey. It helps get you to New Jersey, but it is a constantly in repair road, which like destroyed what at one time was a vibrant, thriving neighborhood. That's not the good part of the story. Well, tell <laughs> so, that part, because like, that's its history, That is really. a part of history, however, is that uh, Robert, Moses. Robert Moses really was dying to get, like, uh, get that through route to go to, um, th through to New Jersey. Vibrant neighborhood. Uh, thousands of people uh, to be displaced, to yeah. be displaced, to have to move. He didn't care. He just wanted to build it. Didn't matter who lived there. Lived there was homes, and he just went right straight, went right through it, right through. And everybody had to move. 
Yes, and that's, that's the bad part of it. And that's why it doesn't look pretty either. If you look, you could still see the buildings from on left and right. There were buildings here. And it's just in certain spots, it just looks awful. It's not very pretty. You could see the rock. You could see, you know, um, and it's, that it's not beautified at all. And it's constantly under repair and constantly, constantly. traffic laden. So, like, we're always laden with traffic. This is not one of the great uh, construction projects in no. New York history. And it's not one of the most pla uh, pleasant places pleasant. to visit. If you're a tourist, or you, you might go through here to get from uh, Westchester and the Bronx and New York into New Jersey, into Fort Lee, New Jersey, to go over the bridge. That's... But, um, but you'll see that it's very ugly. Look at it. It's it's very ugly. Correct. Belmar Beagle points out Moses was trying to do the same thing in Little Italy. That's right. Along Broom Street. And but it was fought. successfully fought. No, the people fought. Yeah, it was fought back. I love and it that was story. His first and Look only loss. Look how ugly it is. Look which at it. was basically the end for his. Yes. For him. Correct. Uh, it's the only time he was really, really defeated. Like, completely defeated. Now, Only 45 likes. Let's get it to 100 likes. Thank you very much, Joe Hernandez, for pointing you, that Joe. out. Anyone who's in the chat, we got 103 people in the chat. Thanks for joining us. And please give us those thumbs up. We love to see the thumbs up. The thumbs up helped the channel. I'll be honest. I'm not gonna. I'm no, not gonna. I'm help. not gonna goof and off on it. Comments. It does. And making the comments, comments guys. the comments you make and as you can are see, helpful. We don't ignore the comments. We, we don't really ignore the comments. I. It. I. It's, it's a. It's it comes a from full our time heart. Everything that you, Anthony job. That I love do. looking at the comments. All the I love reading to the comments. Comments. I love. You want to know what I love? The One of the things. Comments, I love the interactive comments. I also love answering comments. I love looking at the comment section and seeing. Uh, seeing that you've got like comments on videos from like the olden days suddenly there'll be a comment on a video from two and a half three yeah, years no. ago <laughs> and i was like that. i love that i love going back i forget to make comments says cole cole don't forget to make comments make comments because your and comments are kind when... of funny no you know what i love personally it warms my heart is that sheila g how you doing hi, sheila hi Dwayne. My, what warms my heart is when you make a comment and then like we'll answer the comment or we'll get to the comment eventually and there's and you guys are talking to each other in the comments like i just love that i love the communication between you guys i love our chat i love our community here on our channel and i love that you guys like genuinely care about each other and have an opinion about each about things you know there's opinions that are never they're not always the same but that's what makes us perfect that's what makes that's us great what makes us because we all have our own opinion an and it's interesting valued group here. of people we all make a difference and it's valued in our channel so go ahead go ahead and write to someone else say something else to someone else and you might get you might get a connection you might have something that's in common or you know that's how you get to meet people. That's how you so get to meet new that. people. Um, Robert says he would make comments, Hi, but he can't read or write. So, like, oh that's all gosh. right. Do you need help, Robbie? He has a seeing eye man who types these comments into the chat for See, him. See, here's a good example. Blue Star's over here. in the house. Julie, Hi, how you doing? See, on the left, that building's right up to the, like, right up to the highway. Literally on and that the was highway. Like, like, the people living in there were like, whoo. They didn't touch my building. They didn't touch my but building. My neighbor, but my know? neighbor who would be across the street, like, someone right how here. Old this bridge like is. there this might is have been a bit his, his what happened. There might have been a store, a grocery right. store, a clothing store on this right. side. Uh, like like way down that way. Like say on this side of the street. Now all of a sudden that clothing store loses access Correct. to all the people on that side of the neighborhood. Right. Because people walked on foot most of the time in That's those right. days when they this did. place was built. And now all the so like, business. Foot traffic was lost. It that was foot terrible. traffic put those guys out of business and turned it into like what was essentially a thriving neighborhood into a poor neighborhood. And That's yes, right. Belmore Beagle is correct. That would have happened 
in Little Italy, in Greenwich Village, they were literally going to rip apart. Imagine when imagine? other live streamers, oh, ourselves, and some of the other walkers, they go through the East Village, through Greenwich Village, through yes. Little Italy, and they walk through those neighborhoods. Like, uh, they walk through the neighborhoods. You'll see many of you watch James and Carla. You see them walking through the neighborhoods. You see us walking through the neighborhood. Now imagine that neighborhood isn't there. It's a highway. It's been torn to shreds. That's All right. of those businesses, those old businesses, All gone, those businesses gone, that, destroyed. That have been there for years. And you see look that, how like, horrible this looks. look where we are. That's essentially what happened here. Imagine right. that happening and then in Manhattan. All the construction that they did, Anthony. All the construction they did that for years people couldn't go to their favorite store anymore. They yes. couldn't go to their favorite store. Like right here. Here it is. Here's an example. Look, that is one example where they would see it. See the rock above it? Yes. They couldn't tear down. They didn't tear down that rock. They went under the rock. Do you see that? They went underneath. Let's see. We've got some pe people, as I have told Anthony, that it's hard for them to see all the comments. Uh, there yes, are so I'm many so people. I'm so sorry. And I'm driving. not discussing. I know I couldn't keep up either. Yes, it is very hard to see all the comments. Especially the brick walls talking. is frightening, says Cole Yeah. Um, yes. Who do we have? April M. April, how April's you doing? Been April's there, in here. I didn't April. say hello to April. I know you were So talking. now I'm say, saying Sorry. hello to April. Jan Goodwin. Population Hi, Jan. of the Bronx you? is about 1.4 million. Think wow. about that. The Bronx is in itself part of New York and it is in itself a massive city anywhere yes. else in the United States. Now, in a lot of other states in the US, the Bronx might be the largest city in that state. Now we're getting off of the Cross Bronx, just to say it one more time, <coughs> excuse me. We're getting off of the Cross Bronx and straight ahead is the George Washington Bridge. That's taking you to New Jersey. See how ugly this is now? Look at this, look at this overpass. All of a sudden it's so high. It's just horrible This overpass looking. is but massively we're gonna get high off now, but because we're so wanna, low we're into the bedrock. That rock needs graffiti, says Armist Bates. Now, well, it over. is very boring. All right, so I wanted to just uh, say something about about Robert Moses before we move on. Robert Moses, I have like I don't know how to feel about him. Well, everybody has because there's I'm, many reasons that mixed know, feelings about. I have him. a lot of mixed feelings because I'm going to be completely transparent and honest here. My entire life is look look how beautiful that is right there. That's the bridge. But my entire now look at this, guys. Over there is New Jersey, right in? Yes, I and, believe so. Well, no, that's not that's we, we didn't get to that yet. This is the Bronx still. So that's I wanted to say that my whole life has been about getting in the car and taking a ride, right? And to be completely honest, if it wasn't for Robert Moses, Some I wouldn't be wouldn't able be to go to Connecticut and, and Long Island and you know, New Jersey, and just jump in the car, especially in the Bronx. We lived in Throgsneck, Borderline, Pelham Bay area, and there were highways everywhere. The highway was everywhere. We had uh, the Hutch, the, you know, the um, 95, I-95. We have the Major Deegan, the Cross Bronx. It goes on and on and on. The Clearview, and when you get over the Whitestone Bridge in Queens, you got the Clearview. You got the road that takes you to Jones Beach. All of that was because of Robert well, Moses. Jones Beach itself was built. Yes, I my whole life well, we went to Jones yes. Beach every there weekend. There were like many really good construction projects, but there were others that were yes. unnecessary or could have been done better. They could have been done in well, a way. Well, he got a little more, greedy, in my opinion. The uh, right? Jane Goodwin points out Brooklyn is about 2.7 million people. Brooklyn is a massive city. Also, many of the little parts of New York are in themselves huge cities. Uh, yes, Cole Sloth asked, why is it called the Bronx? Uh, Jane Goodwin guesses it's a Dutch name. Yes, it's yes, based it on Johannes Bronck, who was a man right. who owned a lot of land in uh in the what is now the bronx and he people got even after he passed away 
and after he no longer owned a lot of that land, people kept using the phrase, often you would say you were going up to the Bronx, which eventually got like very New Yorkicized, yes, you would say correct. Anglicized or New Yorkicized, into like no longer being spelled like the Dutch would spell it, and being spelled with that X at the end of it. And so the Bronx became the Bronx. Now, if we keep going straight, we would hit... Uh, Photos from around New York. How you doing? Yankee Stadium. Yes, we would hit Yankee Stadium. Hi, Photos. How are you? We're one of our wonderful teams in New York, sporting teams, the legendary New, New York, York Yankees. Yankees play. Not yes. a Yankee fan myself, but they are nevertheless legendary. Come on, we've got Babe Ruth, Yogi Legendary Barra. with many legendary oh, players. Yeah. Hey, folks, we're passing to and then over there, How about that? not far from here, is also Van Cortlandt Park, which is another memory of mine. But Van, Cort Van Cortlandt Park is a very big park, but not as big as you remember. What did um, Desi say? Do you remember? Uh, Pelham Bay, Pelham Bay park. park, right? And Pelham Van Bay Cortland park, park is huge, but not as huge as Pelham, Pelham Bay, park. Bay Park is the largest, largest park in New York City. Yes, bigger it is a Central massively park, huge park. Bigger than any other park in any other Correct. borough. Reverend Jenny's in the house. How Hi, you doing, Reverend, Reverend Jenny. Jenny? How are you? Good to see you, Reverend Jen. Ambrose, uh, what have you done for me lately, says Ambrose Chamberbot. We have Keith Havens in the house. My ride is here. Got to go. I'll be back if is you're that? still on. Love you guys. Take care all, says Classy. She's okay, waiting bye, for a Classy. ride, waiting Take for a care. lift. Thank you for stopping in, Classy. Thank and you. if you get back, we'll see you then. If not, we'll see you next time. Take Thank care. You. All the best. Patrick NY in the house. How you doing, Patrick? Hi, Patrick. How are you? So if you're just coming in, we uh, we just came from Park Chester in the Bronx. We saw Macy's, we saw Zaro's, we saw the Step Down Diner, Step In Diner rather. Step In Diner. And we saw some terracotta, some buildings. We saw the ter terracotta uh, statues. We went and drove on the uh, Cross Bronx Expressway, did a little history there. Now we're on our way to lunch. And we're on, on our, our way, way to, to lunch. a well-known deli we'll show you when we get there for some matzo ball soup yeah there I will be soup wait. then i can never resist the soup yes i have n <laughs> i don't remember ever being here i may have been here as a child but i don't know um and so we're gonna try it we're gonna try it out we're gonna try it out Patrick taking and ca taking Wait, care, giving some greetings. No, we're going straight oh, right okay. now until we get and make a uh, okay. left at uh, Broadway, I believe. Oh, there we go. I couldn't see the. We're gonna make there a left go. right Broadway. here at Broadway. Yes. Give my and regards to Broadway. Remember me to and if anybody the here Bronx. Doesn't know. I was born in New York City in Manhattan, Col of Manhattan in New York. So I am from Throgs Neck area and Pelham Bay area. Anthony was was born in New York City as well and he lived in New York City. Let me give this bus a little room. Let's give the bus some room, baby. There we go. And he lived in New York City and as a child moved to the Bronx. Am I right, Ant? Yes. Now we're going to make a right right here. 230. Yeah. Okay. This is the place. All right, All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then Anthony lived in Manhattan in Harlem. 116th Street, was it in? Uh, yes. I lived then, in Harlem, 116th Street. When did you move? Were you like eight? The beautiful 116th Street. I think I was eight, maybe nine at most and when we moved. And then you moved to the Bronx, to Pelham moved Bay Moved to area. the Bronx, to the Pelham Bay area. Not that far away from where the net lived. Right. Like, my God, 10 minutes? Walk. A new month, a new positive approach, says Paul McDonough. Hi, Paul. <gasps> yes, a brand new month. February 1st, we have to do our birthdays. When I stop, so I can read off everyone's birthday. Yes, she had today a list is my cousin's birthday, Darren, and Jack Rabb on today. Correct. Today, the first of the month. It is Darren's birthday, her cousin, who you actually have seen in the chat now and then and here and you've there. Seen him on our videos. And you've seen him on our videos. A couple. He of was them. with us at the train show. Yes. He and the misses and the little their little boy. And Austin's birthday is at the end of the month. That's right. Joan oh, Fitz. Long time no Hi, see, Joan, Joan Fitz. You? Haven't seen you in a little while. Great to see you. Is Irwin Avenue? 
so are you good. heading to Johnson Avenue? I don't think so. Uh, yes, Is there anything we are? Are we? We are? are we heading? We're heading to Irwin Avenue. No, I mean the address. I think is on Johnson. I think it's two hundred thirty fifth Street. Maybe oh, it's okay, across maybe. street of Johnson. Are you Avenue. guessing where we're going? Are you trying to guess where we're going? Because you can easily <laughs> guess if you look. You up can guess. Jo a Jewish deli in the Bronx. There's like only a few left. This is like and the last only one. Only one. And the real kosher Jewish deli. Cleo Tulu, how you doing, Hi, Cleo? Cleo, Cleo in the you? house. How's it going? And we're in Riverdale part of the Bronx now. Now, Riverdale is very beautiful. Here's Johnson Avenue. Oh, yeah, uh, we're passing Johnson. Oh, we're going on Johnson. Oh, we're going on Anthony's Johnson. Not familiar. Oh, yeah. So you were that. right. You were right. We're going to Johnson Avenue. And we're going up because <laughs> Riverdale is on a hill. Riverdale There's on some a hill. Homes, a lot of hills. Let me tell you something. There's some homes and buildings are in Riverdale that are gorgeous. Hey and guys, they, my they, birthday is on the 17th, who is says that? Mikey. Oh, I okay, didn't know that. Mikey. So I'm going to add you to the list. Thank Wonderful, you. Mikey. Happy birthday to you, too. Patricia Ruggiero in the house. Hi, how you Patricia, doing, Patricia? How are you? We are on a hill. We're going yes, up because hill. Riverdale faces New York City and the river, and you can see. The Hudson River. I know where you're going. You just passed my corner. Get Joan out of Fitz here. says. What do you mean you're going? Do corner? we corner? Do you live around here, Joan? Are you like upstairs in one of these buildings? Would you like to come for a ride? Want to come, for, come lunch for a ride? Come for lunch? <laughs> she knows if you're where at we home. Are. <laughs> you know where we're going. We're going to now. We're going to West 235th Street. Uh. The last time I was in this neighborhood, this is another memory, was back when I worked in Brooklyn. I worked in Brooklyn, in downtown Brooklyn, right across from... Kolawale, how you doing? I, not far from John... Um, well, let me, give me a minute, I need a minute to think. What's it called? Juniors. We, I worked by Juniors in Dumbo. Oh, you're not getting and old, Mikey. I'm like ancient by comparison. It doesn't 49 matter, it's just the number. Oh, Mikey, you're, you're 49, you're like a child Anthony compared to me. 60. I just turned 60. But and why do I still feel like a toddler? Because we, we do fun <laughs> stuff. We act like toddlers. Is anyway, so... Parking, now we gotta look. The endless search for oh, parking. Look at these this neighborhood is interesting, Wait a minute, actually. so... so so, George, how you hi, doing? Georgie. It's George in the house. Allah in the house. Park. Can we hear already? Oh, uh, we're right here. We're right there here. There it is. Leave me the are... restaurant. I'm going to park right in the front. We are going for some deli. Anyway, <laughs> the last time I was here, I had to drive my co workers home. I drove them all over the Bronx, Westchester, because there was a, at four o'clock, it was 10 to four, there was a, in Brooklyn, We that's where we were, there was a blackout. Do you remember they that blackout? They had a blackout. Anthony? I do remember the blackout. And I had a car, they didn't, and some people, they went, some people went, uh, you know what, I'm going to go across the street, more room. City Emerald, how you Some doing, City went Emerald? Across the Brooklyn Bridge, there was a blackout in all the boroughs and New York City, and some people were stuck. They had nowhere to go because there was, you know, not, there was nothing, no trains running. So I said, "All right, guys, pile in." No, what Reverend like Jen five said. Five people in the back seat, me and another guy who lived by me in the Bronx in the front seat. And every time we went through a, I'm sorry, Anthony, give me a minute. Every time we went through a light, he checked to make sure the light, because the lights weren't working. And he was like my pot, my co-pilot. And I couldn't even reach Anthony because he was in the subway, but I don't know what happened. Long story short, I came here and drove some people home. And that was a memory. She came here and drove work. some people home. What you know what Reverend Jenny asked? Did that? you ever have anybody who's from Riverdale say, I don't live in the Bronx, I live in yes. Riverdale. He have said that. Well, I never heard, I don't live in the Bronx. I've heard, I live in Riverdale, or I live, I live in, in Riverdale, Neck, or I live in. I live in I, mean, I have Neck. to admit, sometimes I do it because I don't. I always thought of uh, like my neighborhood was Throgs Neck. I never we called it Throgs Neck. You know what I mean? Because maybe it was at the end. It was the end of Tremont Avenue. Is the end of, you know, the the beginning of the uh, Whitestone Bridge and the Throgs Neck Bridge. So it's kind of like the end or the beginning. You could look at yeah. it as as you come from Queens. It's kind of the beginning. So. Way back, years and years and years ago, Throgs Neck almost felt like it was different from the rest of the Bronx, and only because of my mother. My mother lived in Throgs Neck right at the tip, 
She lived not far from Vincent Avenue. She lived on Vincent Avenue, actually. And on in the tip there was no buildings, no no road. There was nothing there in Throg's Neck. Yes. That's where the Throg's Neck Bridge was. The Whitestone Bridge was on the other side. So in Throg's Neck, that was considered a country. It was considered a country. And so eventually they built the, the, uh, the highway. And so there were dunes and they would go on the beach. And it was just a different world. Is and because my mother lived in Throg's Neck and she grew up there as a child... She used to say that, and then I picked it up. And admittingly, I pick, that's why I try so hard to say I'm from the Bronx, because I could say I'm just from Throg's Neck. And Raven, just Raven's in the house. She that, says yes you know? to you. She agrees Thank with you. Thank you, Raven. Yeah, no, Raven's no, no, also from Throg's The reason Throg's is, Neck. is that that's very well, much the same store. thing all around New York. You know, New Yorkers tend to identify themselves by the neighborhoods exactly. they live in. It's like when you go to Bro someone from Brooklyn, where do you live? They say, I live in Williamsburg. They say, I live in Cobble Hill. I live in, uh, right. what do you call? I, 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 I live in Rob's Red Nick Hook. They don't go, I different. live in Brooklyn. They say, I live in Red Hook. In the Bronx, they say, oh, I live in the Tremont but section. But I never heard anybody Park. say, I don't live in the Bronx. I live in the Riverdale. That one I Come never on. heard. Although there That's is ridiculous. that one part of the Bronx, Marble yes. Hill, which has the argument... <laughs> So maybe that's why? <laughs> Which, uh, no, because in Marble Hill, there's the whole argument about, for a long while, <laughs> Marble Hill was part of Manhattan. Was part of Manhattan, then it became part of the Bronx for a long while. Let me get the chat while Marble so Hill was in the Bronx until New York finally definitively decided, the courts decided, Marble Hill is in fact in Manhattan, even though it's part of the mainland at this point. Not an island anymore, and it's attached to the Bronx. So if you go to the Marble Hill Playground, you can find a paving stone marker, which basically shows the border between one the leg, Bronx and Manhattan. One leg so would be in the Bronx and one other leg, if you're tall enough, would yeah, be in Manhattan. You can put Manhattan. one foot in Manhattan and one wow, foot in the Bronx. Wow, we have 105 wonderful people in here. Thank you so much. 105 people joining us. I'm just us. checking to see if I can get the chat now because why am I not able to get it? Do you see this? I don't know why. Oh, yeah. it's like you got probably no got to reboot or like All right, I'll close reboot. and go back. It's probably because oh, you were yeah. plugged into the phone. Okay, into the wall soup, call. I presume, my dear Mr. Livingstone. Livingstone. Yes, I am getting Mott's wall soup, and I cannot wait. If Who you said that? There, John Matthews Helen said, doing? said it. Hi, Don. If you go, hi, bye, Belmar Beagle. How are you? Belmar Isn't Beagle, there an take area care. Bronx called Country Club. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Right next to. Right next the to club, Palm Bay which Park. is a country. Anthony worked there once. I worked in, in Country, country club. club. Yes. Those stories are oh, on their way. Day. Those are for good sit Hi, down John. time. John's birthday in the house. Up, I know. Hey, how you doing? Those All right, are so for listen. good sit down times in the My house. My friends say they live in Forest Hills instead of Rego Park in Queens. Exactly. But isn't that right next to but each other? But that's a neighborhood. That's that. how the neighborhood people in New York have always done that. People say I live in a little. Oh, even I in love Manhattan. It, Jenny. I live in Harlem. So where do you live? Manhattan, I live in Greenwich Village. Where do you live? Yeah. I upper live in the West, West Village. Side, upper East Side, Lower yes, Manhattan. Yes, New Yorkers That's just the way identify they talk. themselves by their neighborhood. Reverend especially said, if people, they're born there. People will tell me I don't live in the Bronx and I argue with them. Yeah, you could because it's ridiculous. Yeah, you, you can argue, argue with them. They live in the Bronx. You should be proud of where you live and you should be proud of where you come from. I am. I don't have any... Listen, what happens in your past brings you where you are now. Reverend Jenny, I lived in Throg's Neck and my friend lived in Country it, Club. If they're embarrassed by it, then they, they have a problem. Sorry, I'm adding Mikey, who was the 17th, right? Mikey, the 17th. And what did you just say she said? I'm sorry. She she lived in Throg's Neck and her friend lived in Country Club. That's the That's Reverend. That's right. <laughs> I have cousins in Country Club right now. I have relatives that live in Country Club right now. In the club of the country. Hi, Ian. Ian's from the Bronx. Ian in the house. Ian is our He's resident Bronx a, man. A We're Bronx in the Bronx. Man. Fellow Bronxite. I lived in Pelham Bay and had a view of Pelham, Pelham Bay and, Country, Bay and wow. Country Club, said Ian. Yeah. Yes. I went to the hairy woman of Kilnaki Forest near where I live, Armist. I don't know what that means. Then in We Quantic, ah. We Quahic, it's always good to said see John all of Jan you guys. Goodman. Thank she you, lived Ian. in North uh, North Newark and then moved to We. we oh, Quantic. really? I didn't know that Beach Bomb. Look what Beach Bomb said. Alan Alda's wife, and I love Alan Alda. He's my favorite. 
wrote a book, I Am Just a Kid from the Bronx. The people are famous, but before your time. Wow. Hello. There's a lot of famous people from the Bronx. Remember Regis Philbin? Yeah, do you yeah need there to are. Read this? Yeah. No, there are. Oh, no, I can okay. see it just fine. We even did that in Newark where I grew up. Oh, you're from Newark. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. I first lived in North Newark and then in Week. Is that what you just read? I yes. missed it. <clears throat> I am proud. I am a proud Scusa, but I part Killig Killigon. Klingon. Klingon. Part All right, so let's sing happy birthday. You ready? All right. But first, let me say whose birthday it is for <laughs> February. This is something we do. So um, just go down a little bit. You're like George is the hungry. The... There we go. There it is. Okay. George is hungry. So am I. My father used to live in Country Club on Lucerne Street. Now, in Country Club, a lot of the streets are named after, like, poets and books. Poets, and books, There's a lot of lakes, writers from there. It's very uh, Scientific principles. Beautiful like, homes there. Like, expensive uh, you, you've homes. got right Einstein Bay. Avenue. You got, right on, like, right off like, Pelham Bay Park. You got Watt and Volt and yes. Ohm. <laughs> I had a pen pal from the Bronx when I was about 12 years old. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing, Alina. Right? If Alina's that from Finland... Amazing. And a she pen had a pal. pen pal she from said, the Bronx. She's mentioned in pen pals. Oh, pen pals that. was a thing. The pe I always many, wanted some a pen pal, our, but I didn't know who to... Some of our people probably are like in that of a yes, certain you have, age Jenny, like you ourselves. you have lived all over. I, that one have, day, uh, Jenny, Remember the pen pal. I and swear. either had one or wanted I one. I always wanted one. I talked about this before. But I was a, I was a kid. I, I was like, something? how do I get a pen pal? Can <laughs> I, how do you get one, right? So can I just say something? Someday we are going to meet up with Jenny, Reverend Jenny, and we are going to have a conversation. And I want to interview her because she's so interesting. She's been all over. Her life is so interesting to me. And she's so cool and so wonderful. And I can't wait to meet her. Maybe this summer. Maybe we'll make it happen, Aunt. Maybe we'll make it happen, okay? Other yes. thing. Hold on. One more thing. That is what I said a long time ago when we were eating dinner on a live stream. One of the first of the months. And it was, we were in the pizzeria. Do you remember? We were in Valentine's. Yes. And I had mentioned that one of the reasons why I love doing YouTube and why I love this whole thing that we do. Do you want to look in here? Is Patty because... W is tomorrow, February Oh, 2nd. wow. Let me write that down. Thank you, Patty. Anybody else has a February birthday? Let me know. So anyway, I was telling, I was telling um, Ron TV Metro that I was overblown with like it was just amazing that we could talk to Ron who's in the Philippines who's in another country and all the places that you're from not just not just other countries but even in like other states right that we could like have these conversations and these connections with each other yes and I always wanted that growing up. I didn't always want to just talk to people from the Bronx. You know, like, you have a community in the Bronx. They're in this a certain way. They do a certain... I'm, I'm babbling now. I'm really babbling. She is I gotta babbling. Get this out. I got to get this out. Like, I always said this. When I was a kid, I always looked at... Wait a minute. What was it? What was her birthday? I forgot already. Patty W. February 2nd. Okay. Patty, Patty w. w. February 2nd. Thank you. We don't have any second. Anyway, so... When I was a kid and even a teenager, like I would go to school and I'd Remember, be like... Remember, but Patty likes you know, to rock and roll. A hot dog makes a loose that's control. Right. So it turns <laughs> out that like, do you remember when you were young and like you would, you know, that you had your friends, but then you thought to yourself, I wish that there was somebody that did this that I like, or, you know, my friends are great and all, but there's things I'm interested in that, that people don't do over here. Like you hear about it, you hear about it in books and you see it on TV but you don't, you don't like, you don't personally know someone that has something in common with you. Anthony, stop doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to see the, yeah. the, the chat. I'm losing so, a lot of things that what I want to read. Okay, so I'm going to quickly say it so the I next shut speech up. is very lengthy. No, because, <laughs> give me, just come closer. So when I started seeing like YouTube and then I can communicate with people, from other countries that are have things that are interested in me, I just like I was so jealous that like when we were kids, when I was a teenager, we couldn't do that. We couldn't. I couldn't choose who I wanted. It had to be the community I was in, if that makes sense. Not that the community I was in was bad. It's just like, what if I wanted to be a pianist or I wanted to uh, do something that no one else in my circle of friends does or doesn't understand? Or I want to talk about something personal that I just can't talk to them about because they're not from that world or they're, gro they're brought up a certain way. Just seeing other people from other places and learning about other things 
is just so amazing to me. And I wish I had that when I was a kid. I wish I had a pen pal. If you had a pen pal, then you would learn about what goes on in other countries. And not just what you see on the news or what, what you didn't see on the news. Like right now you see so much more with social media than when we were kids. We didn't see anything. So yes. all right, let me shut up. Go ahead, Ann. That's all right. We, Ian's favorite, uh, one of his favorite areas is Westchester Square. Ian yes, has showed us some before. interesting uh, photos uh, from yes. Westchester Square. You can look I on our community remember page. That. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought they said it was your birthday tomorrow. No, not, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, Patty W's birthday is tomorrow. Okay, so uh, let me mention the, the birthday. Hollow says exactly, Danette. That's why I chose a high school that wasn't in my neighborhood. Me too. Uh, Hala Did you, Hollow? Yes. Me too. Hollow never lived in the Bronx, but he worked in the Bronx and he dated women from the Bronx. Ooh. So there you go. I'm going to go okay, see so the ocean the April same for thing. my first time. Oh, Let's that's see. nice. Uh, Danette is also amazed by mirror technology, <laughs> says George. I am. That's true. Sometimes uh, I wonder why people see. don't look in the mirror before they leave the house. Tunisia lives in a van down by the river. That's why her <laughs> mail was returned. Okay, listen. That's silly. Listen, but listen. Way, um, Wait, I want to tell you something. I lived in Throgs Neck and Pelham Bay area, right? Like I told you guys. I went to St. Benedict's. That's in Throgs Neck. I chose to go to, and I chose it. Not my parents. I could have went to all the schools that were around me. I could have walked to school, but no. It's still the Bronx, but I chose St. Catherine's Academy, which is in Williams Ridge Road, and that was not in Throgs Neck. It was in Mars Park, Mars Park area. Yes. And it took me so long to get there, so long to get back, and I took two buses. I walked to the bus, took two buses every single day there, two buses back, and I would never change that for the world. I loved my friends. I loved them so much. I made my own friends. Not one person from St. Benedict's went there. I was the only one that chose that school. All the kids went to the other schools, you know? And I was the, I started there knowing no one. And I had made like 10 friends. We were great friends. I loved them dearly. And I had a great time. But even though that's what happened, I wanted to meet more. I wanted to know more. I wanted to meet more people that were like me. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. You're getting a phone call from a drugstore. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. And let's sing happy birthday to everyone. You ready? Because I'm going to give you all the birthdays now that I know of. All right? Okay. Uh, okay. So Darren, <coughs> is num Darren and Jack Rabb are... Uh, today, today, February first. So happy birthday, Darren! Happy we love birthday, you. Happy birthday, Darren and, and then Jack. Tomorrow is Patty W. Then we have Emma G. She's uh, in a couple of days. A waitress. Joey Brooklyn. Johnny Azaria TV. Johnny. Margaret Hummer. Diana Gonzalez. Me. <laughs> ding, ding, Danette. John Matthews, who's here, and Austin, who's my my cousin, Darren's uh, son. And Mikey. Mikey is Mikey. that we just found out. I'm 17th, sorry. Mikey. So two, Darren, Jack, Emma, a waitress, Joey Brooklyn, Johnny Azaria, Margaret, Diana, John Matthews, Austin, Mikey, and Patty. We wish you the happiest birthday ever. Make this the year of your birthday. And we love you guys. And anyone else that we missed or don't know or don't remember, I see what you're saying, Reverend. I'll read it in a few minutes. We're now going to sing Happy Birthday. Ready, Ant? All right. <laughs> da, 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 da. We sing every first Lips of the month. Lips and tongue. Lips and for tongue. For the birthdays. Me, me, ready? me, 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 me. Hi, Ron. We were just talking Ron about you. TV Metro. Okay, you ready? <laughs> All right. I would have loved to have met you, Danette and Anthony, years ago when I lived in. All right. Oh, wow. yeah. We agree. Choppy. All right, you Choppy. ready? All righty. Here we go. Oh, that's that's nuts, Paul. That can't be true. All right, let's go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear February dream geniuses. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh, you forgot to put the birthday thing. 
What's the birthday? The thing? birthday emoji. Oh, no. Oh, and right. my birthday, too. Oh, anyway, let's continue. Oh, oh. Next time. Happy next birthday, time. everyone. Hail, hail, hail the, the gang's all here. What the heck do we care? What the heck do we care? Hail, hail the gang's all here. What the heck do we care now? Now bow to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and wish them a happy birthday. And one happy more birthday, time. all you wonderful folks from February, right, including Mikey. her. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Genius is February. Yeah, February. Genius is all the people I mentioned people earlier, earlier, including myself and everyone That we mentioned, including here that's and, uh, everyone, including Batty W and Mikey, who we just found out about today. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, welcome, Stop Patty. those dogs. <laughs> Happy right, birthday, everyone. Vivian Mavros and now. How, How you doing? How you doing? Welcome aboard. Viv giving us all the happy birthday birthdays. Emoji. How did I forget that? Oh, what's wrong with me? That's Get Anthony had one contract, job. Get Anthony, he had one job to do. What no, the I'm heck is he say doing? Nothing. I forgot right. too. I completely forgot. I really forgot. This is the first time I ever. Wow, that. John said he's going to be sixty-three on the twenty-sixth. Sixty-three. You wow. got me by a Did couple of years, Hi, John. Hi, Felipe. How are That's you? All right, Felipe G. Hi, you know, how are you doing? Let me see. Steven. What did I put for him? Yeah, Foxy. twenty-six. How I you doing, it. Fox? Fox. Fox. Stephen, we just came from Parkchester. We went to Macy's. We couldn't get a signal inside, so we were walking around a little on the outside. We showed where the theater was. We showed the Art Deco. What is it called the, again? The, Those things the terracotta on the, the statues terracotta on the statues sides of the buildings. On every building in Parkchester. Almost every building we, has we at least one. We went by Zaro's and more. Step In. We drove by there, and then we went on the Cross Bronx Expressway. If you're just coming in, guys. We went on the Cross Box Expressway, did a little bit of uh, history about Robert Moses. Then yes. we came here to Riverdale, and we're now going, Stephen, to Liebman's Restaurant, Delicatessen. Liebman's Kosher the Delicatessen, last, the last kosher delicatessen, kosher Jewish delicatessen that's in, in the New Bronx. York, in the Bronx. In the rather. Bronx. And so the last one here. in the Bronx, there were once 1,500 in the Bronx. Go ahead, Dennis. Now it's we're down still. for one. Yes, the American Theater. The American Theater, Theater that I, used to be over there. You keep doing that in your hands in the view. Listen, the American Theater is the theater. I've gone there. Anthony has it. I don't remember what movie we saw there. Oh, like, how you yes, doing? Yes, so did I, Stephen. So much time at the Macy's and Zorro's. Great memories. I was telling some of my memories. I've got my communion dress and my shoes and my veil, my whole communion stuff in Parkchester. There was a store in there. Sorry, go ahead, Aunt. I yes. want to say something. Uh, the, the matzo ball, we also saw, Stephen, we also passed by the step-in diner. Remember yes, the step-in? And I told they everyone, step down. in case people don't know, the Macy's in Herald yes, Square Stephen on Fox. 34th Street, the Macy's on 34th Street is the flagship store. That store opened in 1858. The first... Macy's, the first branch Macy's was the one in the Bronx, and that opened in 1941. Right around the war. It was amazing. That was the first you could still one. see the same facade, the same. And we went inside the before we went been live. There for I was like, uh, oh my God, ages. the memories in there. The Remember, do you remember, Stephen, the ramp that takes you like a half a flight up, but it's not the first floor? If you go to the basement, there's an escalator, a single escalator that takes you to the basement. And then next to the escalator is a ramp that takes you like a half a floor. But that's not the first floor. Then you got to go back up the escalator. That's the first floor. And then there's a floor and a half. They don't call it floor number two. It's called one yeah, and a half. The half. There's one and a half. The one and a half floor. They got the one and a half floor. They got downstairs. And in the basement, area. there's a hill. They have a hill in the basement. Yeah, my husband worked at Macy's on 34th Street, and I worked at Bloomingdale's, says Reverend Jenny. Who said Jenny. that? What? That's Reverend Jenny worked oh at God. Bloomingdale's. Reverend Jenny, we Rivals. may have seen each other. We may actually have met. It's so weird. I love it. I love it. I love it. My father worked on Macy's on 34th Street. He was an electrician. I told you guys. He ran 
the heat and he ran the electric in the basement for the building. Yes. My father. And, well, that's another story for another time. That's but another anyway, just to say a little bit about the restaurant before we go in. This has also been on Parts Unknown. The uh, Anthony Bourdain has featured it. It is the a Jewish kosher deli, the only one in the Bronx left. This neighborhood used to have hundreds and hundreds of delis. But as the years went on, they closed, and there's not many. There's, this is the only one left. Now, the person who bought it was uh, the person who, um, uh, what was I going to say? Joseph DeKell bought it in 1980. I'm giving you the, the fast forward. Joseph DeKell bought it in 1980, and now his son, Yuval DeKell, is the one that runs it now. Um, but it was open in 1953. Yes. I don't want to say been much here more since I want to go in. It's been since 1953. It's uh it's Yes, LAB. How you doing? Yes, 1 and, and 1 and a half. That's what it says. On when you go up, it's 1 and 1 and a half. The current owner of the deli is a baker and also a heavy metal drummer. Just so that, yes, you know. Yes, he is. <laughs> His also father passed away drummer. and he took over the business. Now, why did this car get so close to me? I don't understand people. This Sorry, guy in front of up. us got no, incredibly okay. close. I'm going to back up. And actually, Anthony, I'm going to go get the... I have to pay for uh, the, the... ticket. Look, I want to show you parking. Some, I have to pay for parking. I'm want to see school. the schools? Look at this. Old school. Yes, I do have... I could pay for the app. She keeps a I carry mess of quarters. Coins. Massive amounts of quarters. I have like 20 bucks in here or more. And I'm gonna keep be some right mess of coins. All right, so you talk to them if you want to. I will at keep this. it. Uh, keep uh, town. I was brought. Uh, I'll be right back. I was bought by. It was bought by the Metropolitan Life Insurance uh, Company and bought that land, which used to be the St. Raymond's Catholic grounds. I'll be right back. I guess where Parkchester is, I yes. believe. Yes, and St. Raymond's Ian is all over, all over. And over. there's a lot of St. Yeah, you can see St. Raymond's uh, school. Uh, we passed actually on our way there. We passed past St. Raymond's Academy and uh, St. Raymond's uh, High School and the Girls Academy. We passed the St. Raymond's Parish. There's a lot of St. Raymond stuff there in that area. I'm trying to wake up HC teacher, but uh, drink a couple of martinis. <laughs> like, wake up HC teacher, but uh, drink drank a couple of martinis last night. Just kidding. <laughs> I remember going with my friends to the Woolworth it's in Park Chester and getting a slice of vanilla chocolate and strawberry between two waffles for 25 cents. God, you're uh, you're hating yourself there. Oh my god, it's been so long since there was a Woolworths. I think the Woolworths in Park Chester closed before the one in Westchester Square. So that was a that was a while back, Steve. But the net dropped the coin. So she picked up a coin. She's getting her ticket. She's coming back. Stex in the house. How you doing, Stex? The church on Castle Hill in Tremont. That's a very old place. I Are you sure God. the place is... Is that what just happened? Are you guys still there? <laughs> I scared myself to death. Yeah, it's moving. I scared myself Anthony, to death. I could smell the pastrami. Stex, man. how you doing? Hi, Stex. I scared myself to death. I closed this. Right, uh, go. I closed ready? this window, and I thought I closed the app. I right. hate when that happens. Let me I'm let gonna you let get you out hold first. That. I gotta get out. I hope everybody's having a nice Thursday I'm today. Put on a hat. We're gonna look at the outside of this place. The five and dimes. Yeah, the Woolworths yes. was on the square. That's where we. Anthony used Even to get lunch Anthony there. Used to remember get, for paying twenty five cents. For 25 cents, getting a slice of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry between two waffles at Woolworths. Oh in my Park gosh! And I oh my him, gosh! I said, Parkchester Woolworths closed a long time ago. Yes! Uh, uh, Stephen, <laughs> even before the one on Westchester Square. Oh my god! <laughs> that was I don't a while back. Well, that's a great memory that you that remember is a great that. Memory. Steven, That's amazing. Steven, you ain't old. Thank you, Jan. We're I'm so still glad just like kids. Too. We're like toddlers. We are. We're like, like kids. What the th what's the difference what age you are? We're like toddlers. Listen, your know. age isn't what makes you fun. And your age is between listen, your ears. Listen, you got to live. Your age is between your ears. I don't know what that means. That, is that a... I don't know what he's talking your about. Between your ears. Between your ears. As? A-Z? Listen, 
You have to live. And you're going to be older. You're going to be young. You're going to be older. That's all of us. That's all of us. That's the world. That's life. That's the way it goes. My eyes are starting to droop. I never had these these big droopy spots here. I hate it. I hate it. You see that? My eyes used to be nice and sleek. And now they're drooping. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm getting older. Things are happening. I'm losing hair over here. Whatever. What are you going to do? I have to live my life and be happy. Yes. That's what we're going to do. As the world you must turns. chill. <laughs> and you have to have fun. You have to have fun. Otherwise, what's the point? All right, Anthony. All here right, we go. Come on. All right. Here we are. Ah, let's see. Here we are, across the street. I will show you across the street. Wrong button. That's across the street. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should take a screenshot. Is that what you want? Or you want to get, maybe you should get closer in front of the thing instead of having this uh, no, uh, white sure. Bronco in front of us. <laughs> a white Jeep. Oh, uh, guys. That is our destination. Our destination is Delhi. <laughs> All right, let's get across. Come on, you ready? Wonderful. The net's taken another picture. She has stopped for photographs. Hopefully we won't get hit by a car. <laughs> I'm hoping no I'm going to look. Running out. Oh, you want to look first? Yeah, look, I see okay. 6,000 so far. Okay. Hope there's a signal. Hope there's a bathroom. Oh, it smells good in here. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It does, Ooh. definitely. Matzo balls, matzo ball soup, glorious. Are you here or over, over there in the booth? Is that bigger? Where's the bigger one? One, that, yeah, that, one? that one? You want to go this one or that one? Okay. I'm going to go by her. Alright. Huh? Enjoy your fun. Thank you. Have a good rest Looking good. Oh, thank you. Just, okay, no, come over here next to me. I will, but I am going oh, okay. to visit. Okay. Let's put that down. Hi, guys. There we go. <laughs> you going in the men's room? 1,300. No. I don't know. Maybe we should go. Yeah, let's go back to the front. This is no good. Bring the menu. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Hold on. See if it's over here is better. Yeah, let's go to the front. No, it's it. It's out. It's off. Hold on a minute. Let me just go over here for a sec. Let's see if it's over here. Back. Is that better? That's a little better. Hi guys, we're just checking the transmission. Hold on. No, it's on the counter. I suppose we could. Go. Just go. Alright guys, be, just bear with me for a moment. Can you hear me? Can you see? Tommy, can you see me? I want to show you what I'm. I want to show you. This is where the signal is. Is right here by the counter. There's a counter. That's actually a mirror. I 
Hold on. Let me show you what I mean. Watch. I'm going to turn you around. Look, watch. This Look, see the mirror? Hi, guys. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? So that's the mirror, and let's see. This is the signal, this is it. This is where we have to go. You think the middle was better? What do you mean the middle? You mean where we were sitting? No, it was bad. It went down to 400. It's now on 5,200. It has to be 6,000 and it went to, it went all the way down to 200. So this is okay, we could sit here. This is like two stools, you know? There's plenty of room here, see? There's plenty of room. But right behind me, did you see the, did you see the, the uh, matzo ball soup? Did you see it? All right, let's see what they have. So now it's restaurant week this week in New York City. And let's see what they have. Oh, wow, January 16th to February 4th. So you have a couple of more days, three more days is the three course lunch special. So here it is, $30. This is the three course. You're good there, thank you, Holly. It's what I thought. It's 4,500 and it's not moving. So good. <laughs> anyway, hi, Leela, how are you? So um, let me bring this up, hold on. Let me, give me one second. I hate that when there's no signal, I hate that. Would have been nice to sit in the in the other seat, but we can't, so that's all right. At least there's a signal here. I'm glad we didn't have to leave, you know. Um, all right, Anthony. So put this over there. Pull that one out. No, pull it down. There you go, right there. Pull this out. And we got we have a good signal right here. It's not moving. Thank God. There's somewhere to go. All right. And wait. You gotta get Just get yourself organized. All right, now here's the chat. All right, now let me move this over to show you a little. Get yourself, com get yourself combobulated. You're gonna get combobulated. You want to take your coat off? Anyway, let me show you. So, actually, maybe I should take my coat. my coat's bigger than yours. It's very. So it's a three course lunch. Uh, you got the lunch? Which, uh, for, um, I showed them the mirror in. It's so cool. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take mine off too, but wait a minute. Let me do that. There we go for now. All right, can you, uh, you guys can hear us, right? It does, doesn't it, Katarina? It's so good to see you too. So, so listen, it's a three course lunch, $30 for restaurant week. I don't like that light. Okay, there we go, that's better. And um, the appetizer is potato knish, stuffed cabbage roll, potato laka, chopped liver, chopped chicken liver, and you get that. That's the appetizer. Or, and you get the deli on rye. You can either have pastrami, corned beef, brisket, beef salami, roast beef, turkey, hard salami, and you get a dessert. You get black and white ruggolo or chocolate babka. So Which this is, is a good deal. This is a great deal. The only problem is it doesn't include a soup. You have to get the soup separate. Do you Why don't we get a soup? Do you want to get one of these and a soup? And we'll, sh we'll try and we'll everything. Get a and we'll get a soup. You got to get oh, a Oh, wait. There's something soup. on the back. A back. Wait. Or you can that's get. Dinner. That's the oh, dinner. Oh, that's the dinner. The that's dinner right. is also $30 if you want to come at night. And it comes with a soup or appetizer, which is chicken noodle soup or matzo ball soup, and these entrees with the same dessert. You see, you can get a sandwich here too, pastrami here on, yes. on a well, sandwich. Yes, you can get a roast chicken, you can get not Holla, roast, have you, you ever been cabbage. here before? You ever been Chivelta here, Holla? fish, fried crepe left. Yeah, filter fish, fried crepe All right, crepe so what are we getting? Left. You wanna get the pastrami? I'm gonna get, and you gotta go pastrami, cause it's the classic. All right, so pastrami, do you wanna get? When pastrami on Now line. they have the Coney Island, they call it in New York. Coney which Island. Which is a square. Uh, a potato knish, which is the square, like you see in the, the hot dog trucks, or you can get the round one, which is baked, it's not fried. I'm gonna get the round. You want the round? Or the do you round. want one of those other things? No, we gotta go with a, a potato round knish. knish. All right, so knish. Because famous here. Pastrami on rye, you're getting rye, right? Pastrami on rye. Rye bread. And we're gonna get the black and white. I can't wait. Rye bread, guys. And one matzo ball soup. All right, nice and then here's the, and here's the rest of the menu. Look at this. the rest of the menu. It's huge. Look at this, guys. This is if you're just ordering without the uh, special. Look at this. 
Look at this. Look at these. Anthony, we're definitely coming back here again. We're definitely coming back. Here. Okay, here's the here's the chat. Here's you. At least you can see us. I'm At gonna least run you can see us. That's what's next. Yeah, because that That's other way was bad. If we have to stay here for the live streaming portion of this, that's that's on, good man. enough. At least you he, you can see us. At least you can enjoy some time with us while we uh, we get some food here. This is gonna be fun. I want chicken and waffles. <laughs> oh, haven't had a condition about thirty years, Reverend Jenny. You gotta live. <laughs> get get a condition. Although it might be hard hard for you to find it and you know uh, where you are right now. Next time you're low, you, next time you're below the below the, the Kanish line, try to get one. <laughs> we gotta get and try, we gotta go and try uh, go to old Yona Schimmel. We gotta go visit there with you guys one day. Who we got in uh, in the house? Emily Gangadine, how you doing? I didn't notice you until just now. I just had some Kanish last week, says April. April sounds like a great idea to get some Kanish. Potato, potato Kanish, you're overdue. Potato Kanish with mustard is great, says Stephen. She is overdue. May Ace, how you doing? Happy February to you as well. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, love, Jan loves a potato Kanish. I mean, who doesn't? The Coney Island Squares are great, but this place is pretty famous for their round. In the Ukraine, Oleg just uh, said something interesting. In the UK, Ukraine, Kanish is mostly considered a wedding dish and served on the second day of the wedding festivity. Oleg, that is pretty interesting. I got to tell Danette that when she gets back out. It's interesting to think of that as like a, a dish for festivities when in New York it's looked at as like a, like a, like a grab and go, let's get a Kanish. Oh no, it's my birthday and uh, on the fifth of, uh, I'll have to rewind, says Emma G. Yes, we included you in our birthday singing festivities. So when you get to see them, yes, Ambrose, your birthday as well uh, this, this month. Happy birthday, Ambrose. Happy birthday to all of our friends. Never had a Kanish, Brett? You gotta get yourself a Kanish. Get, you, get, get yourself to New York and get, get a Kanish. Oh, you got, you got the bin there? The round potato Kanish. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Yes, hey guys. Alright, wrap and then what are you gonna do? Uh, the pastrami or not? Right? Yeah, yes. we'll okay. share. Okay, and then are you drinking anything, guys? Uh, just water, ice water. Okay. Good, good. The dessert, uh, matzo bowl soup. Share? Yes. Tell me dessert again. Oh, okay. Got it. Yes. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Thanks so much. I told her I gotta tell Danette when they uh, when she gets back. Oleg. Come on, tell me. You know, Oleg uh, Hi Oleg Ziliev. Said uh, said in the Ukraine, the Kanish is mostly considered a wedding dish and really? served on the second day of wedding festivities. And I said that's kind of that's I interesting no because idea. here in New York, it's like it's like a thing you grab and go. It's like you go and go grab a Kanish. It's like a snack. So does like that mean we have to pay extra because we're sharing? She didn't say, but she, she did not say. Should we ask? ask. I don't know. How much extra could it be? Five bucks. Okay. But like we shouldn't pay for that. Yeah. We used to take field trips to Van Cortlandt Park every year in the spring when I was in grammar school. I like the Trisha Square Kanish for potato and, and Kasha Kanish for the pastry wrapper. I also would prefer the square, but Anthony wants the really, round. I want to try the round because everybody says I get the round the here. I love the square. I love the square. You put mustard and salad. I'm going with what they're known for. That's okay, what I'm you're going right. With. We yeah. haven't been here before. Let's try it. Why not? That mirror makes it look like the waitress is ignoring. <laughs> You want to see the mirror nice. again? She's pretty, Hold on. she's pretty nice. She's very nice. Let me tell you why. Look, this is us sitting next to each other. This is the counter. Oh, look, you know what happened? Hi! The mirror effect. Anyway, you know what happened? I sat, I walked up to her. I went in the bed. By the way, the bathroom is immaculate. Did you see that, Ann? Is the men's room immaculate? It's like brand new and immaculate. Did you? Uh, Did you yes. see that? The bathroom is yeah, ridiculously clean, clean like you and new believe. fashion. You know oh, when you say something old-fashioned? Oh, five dollars for extra spoon and plate. No Do you care, Anthony? 
All right. Anyway, yeah. You know when they say Oh, wonderful. That's okay. We thank share. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with the sand. Oh, thank you. Let me just get you placemats. Wonderful. Thank you. She's going to get us placemats. So I walked up to her and I said to her, let me move you over while she does that. I said to her, can we sit over there? Thank you. Thank you. One for the net. Yeah. One for me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Anyway, so I went up to her and I said, is it okay if we, do you hear, is that Sinatra? Who is that? I don't think anyway, that's Sinatra. Beyond a doubt. Anyway, so I said to her, I said, is it okay if we sit there? She goes, well, you're not gonna get waitress services. Oh, we're trying to feature your restaurant and we are live. Uh, we couldn't get a signal. She goes, you couldn't get a signal over there? And I said, no. And she said, that's okay, I got you. I said, what's your name? She said, Jody. Jody, Jody. the waitress here. Wow, man. Wowza. Look at the Look chicken. At chicken. Look at the pile of coleslaw. The pile, pile and the, uh, and the uh, pickles. There's the pickles. Pickles galore. Look at the coleslaw. I can't get over the pile she gave us. All right, wait. Just stay still for a minute. Take the spoon away. Put put that down. I'm just gonna. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, pick your arm up. Yeah, stay there like that. Put your arm behind your head. Actually, put this here. Let me get this in there too. Okay. There we go. Let's take this away. All right, I just want to stay still for a minute because this is amazing. Lovely, isn't it? All right, that's it. You can go now. <laughs> We're reading the chat with my phone there. All right, Anthony, let's see what you think. All right. Now try the matzo ball. Oh, that's great chicken soup. Look, you could see him eating through the mirror. Look at that, guys. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, that is the best. Look at that. I could see, him. I could see you eating through the mirror. Look. This is what it looks like, guys. See? Don't you love those thin noodles? I love those noodles. Oh my gosh. All right, so you can really react right through the mirror. I want you to try the really uh, matzo ball soup. You know what it is? We are I'm in consider Riverdale, right, Anthony? Yes, we are. I'm gonna tell you right now. What my do you think? Because remember, was... you also like, we always compare everything back to Sarge's. We love Sarge's matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup's delicious. I want to know my first reaction was with the matzo ball was very firm, like too, like almost like hard. But then when I took a bite of it, it's not. It's almost like alchemy. It's like magic. It must have the, actually, it has the it's seltzer like in it. Yeah. Firm on the outside, but when oh, you put thanks, it in your Steve. mouth, <laughs> when you put it in your oh, mouth, God. it almost melts. Hi May, how are you? And it's got a it lot melts. of flavor. Look at the chicken in there. And the, look at the size of that ball. Is it hot, Anthony? You know I like because hot. It's not like boiling hot, but I like it boiling it. hot, but okay. No, it tastes really good. Look in the mirror. I'm going to give this. <laughs> You're going to give it a what? Is it better? Whisper, is it better than Sarge's? The same or what? It's close, about the same. The same? And it does look amazing. Does Hi, Julian. Heard they have great limoncello there. I'm sure they don't. I bet they don't. <laughs> All right, so let's get it back this way. Let me get it like that. Yeah, look at this. I can see you. Danette, you gotta try it. Let's All right, let roll. me turn it around. Hold on. If the signal's still good. Good, signal's still good. Look at the old phone, guys. Look, I'm saying old phone. Old phone. The landline, it's a landline. Okay, let's try it together, guys. Come here. That Hold just on. tastes Can good. I? Did she give me a napkin? Yeah, she did. Can you pass the water down, buddy? Here, you can read this. Thank you. There's a, another, another, um, look at this, guys. There we go. Let's go. It is first. really Broth delicious. First. Oh, it's really great chicken broth. It's very, very good broth. chicken You know what it is? This broth has been made with chickens in the pot. Absolutely. Oh my God, you don't need to add salt. You don't need to add anything. Oh, that's perfect. I wish it was hotter, yeah. Yeah, it does seem to be tasty. firm. It seems to be firm, but it's look firm, but when you take There it is, a bite there's the steam. It. You see that the matzo ball is hot. When you take a bite, you're gonna find that you don't think it's firm. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> you're gonna find you don't think it's firm when you take you a bite. You know why? It's very airy. It's very, very airy. It's very light. All right, let me get, 
Let me look, look at this. Pick up the phone look and ask this. for the operator. <gasps> look at this. Can you look at Anthony? Look at this. This bowl. Look at that. Wow. Look at the chicken and the carrots. It's delicious, isn't it? It mm. really is. You know it's the real chicken too, because it has the dark meat in it. Go ahead, answer the chat or whatever. Uh, Ron, Ron was saying off topic. Okay. This is off topic, but it's something we've noticed too. Off topic, but anyone noticed? Uh, but I can't scroll back to see what happened on the start of the stream. I yes, yeah, some streams are seemingly like that. Not all of them. Some of them. Ambrose said he noticed it as well. You have to wait. You mean? Yeah, that's some. You know how you can't seem to scroll. Oh back? yeah, no, that's new. You can't do that. That's anymore. a new thing. Certain ones. You have to wait till it's be over. You have to wait for it to be over to scroll back to the beginning. Let's see. Let me refresh this. How is everything so far? It's good, delicious. Delicious. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I can't stop eating it. It's so delicious. Yes, it's delicious. Then I pick up the phone and ask for the operator. S Fields in the house. How you doing, S Fields? You said hello to uh, Strawberry Fields, right? No, Strawberry S. Fields. S Fields, yes. Yeah. 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 Arnold. I've been watching the videos. Arnold. Great job. I love the hot dog vendor that's been around for over 60 years. Arnold says. No, you mean Dominic. Dominic's oh, Dominic's, yeah. It's incredible. We haven't been back there. 60 years at one spot, basically. Okay, guys, this is mustard. Oh, great. Thank you. I almost ate the whole thing. I do have an extra plate under your for you. Okay? Okay. Can we have a fork, please? Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Anthony, eat the soup first because the soup. I almost ate the whole thing, guys. Is there anything else Thank you. you need? No, I think good? we're good. Thank Everything you. Is wonderful. Thank you. I want to show you what I ate us, while I was us. while I was off. While he was talking, there's like nothing while left. I was talking. Look what I did. She left I devoured it. She left some more for me. It. Guys, I would get my own because I love it so much. Hi, Pammy J. How are but you? But it is large enough that you could okay, share can it. Can you move your chair over? Because I realize I can't move over anymore. There we go. That's better. Thank you. I'm at the corner here. All right, let me turn it back. And then let's see. So we know how the... The waitress the wants is. to make sure you give the restaurant an excellent view. Yeah, because I told her. I told her we're reviewing the restaurant. Cheers, guys. Happy lunchtime or whatever you're doing right now. I'm sorry we missed a lot of the uh, yeah, chat. Let me refresh Hi, it because it went, you know what it is every time it's going we show down. something. You mean move it? Yeah, All right, every let me time see, you let me move see this. It, it pops back down. All right, so I'm not going to take it up. I'm just going to show it this way then. Look at that, guys. Only in New York. Anthony, I am so... I am so impressed. That is impressive. I cannot believe that we've never been here before. I think you're going to have to move this back where it was before. Oh, uh, why? It's moving? Yeah, because you're losing the signal. No, it's going up here. now. Look, it's going up. No, no, it's going up. Give it a minute. Yeah, it's okay, so no, there it's it been, is. It's just like uh, pogo sticking. It's all right. All right, it's good. It's going back to 4,000. What do you think? It's on my head, Ron. It's on my head. Right, Pammy? Look at that. She said, oh my God, look at the fat. Look at like, this one. Look at the fat on there. Look at how they roll it before they put it on. I got to tell you something about the soup. Can I just say something, man? In some respects, it's better than Sarge's, aunt, in my opinion. I don't know. You know what it is about? To liberate and not include it. You're so jealous, dude? It is freezing. Let me tell you something. There. You're freezing? Oh, okay. Let me mm -hmm. hold on. So All right, let me refresh me. You're gonna have to move it All right, back. you want me to move it here? Okay. Where it was. I hate to lose you guys. Yeah, we don't want to lose you. It looks like it's going down. It looks the same. Maybe we're just getting interference. All right, give me a minute. Anyway, I was going to say that I love Sarge's, but sometimes, just sometimes, it's not consistent. It's not consistent. I don't know why. It's like as if two different people make it. And 
It's Betty Gear, Anthony. I don't know what's and happening. Right Somebody right. just there. Yeah, see? Something. A cop or something. I don't know. All right, so you can put that aside if you're done. Wait, hold on. I'm going to take half the sandwich. The phone's ringing. Should I pick it up? Oh, Stephen, how generous of you. Stephen said, bring home a quarter month of soup. Love you. We love you, too. I need the Thank you super so chat much, Stephen. Stephen. Thank you very much. The soup was so good, Stephen. I wish we had a taste it. I wish you could try it. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Nobody could see it because the signal uh, is all the way down. Yeah, what's going on? I don't know if you know, I said thank you so much, Stephen. Thank, I'm sorry you, that we're Stephen. losing, it's going in and out. What do you think of that, guys? What do you think? Now watch, I'm gonna squeeze it. You ready? Oh, look at the juices. <laughs> look at the, here, man, take that. Look at the juices. Operator, will you get that phone call? Thank you so much, Stephen. Okay, now she has. Oh, she asked the Vivian Moore with $14.99 for you Australian. So much. Thank you so, so much. You're so generous. Thanks, guys. Can I have the Thank mustard? You. Now? You're killing me, digging. All right, give me the mustard. I need mustard. Give me the mustard. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There you go. You can put. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. Wait, what's okay? It's good. It's a 45. Okay. So what's your first name? This impression? is so delicious. Don't go to New York City. Don't go to Manhattan. Come here to the Bronx. This is so delicious. This, I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. You guys have to come here. The matzo ball is better than Katz's. It's better than... Oh, we just get the knish. That's the only thing left. Anyway, this is delicious. Aunt. I'm missing a round knish, please. Thank you. Very good. It's, mm. it's delicious. Um, Let me tell you something. Thank you. Thank you. It'll be out in a minute, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much. Jenny, I am speechless. I can't get over some how dirt good on the this shirt. Is. Dirt on the jacket. Dirt on Anthony, the jacket. this is so delicious. Like, look, guys. Look at it. Godzilla says. Steven. Give me a bite. If you come into New York, then you're going to be anywhere near the Bronx. Head up to the Bronx. Please come here. It was only like 20 minutes away from Parkchester. It is so good. Mm. Come for lunch or dinner. It's a deal during They're restaurant. It's packed week. right now. It's so packed. It's a deal during restaurant mm. week. 30 bucks. And mm. the dinner's even bigger and it's the same price. That's right, this. But then is the even better deal at 30 bucks. <laughs> Bye, Hala. Have a good day. Okay, as a foot, I have to go. I have to go now. I have an appointment with my barber. What should I say if he asked, what did, do I have planned for February, Danette? <laughs> We've got some things planned for February. Thank you. Uh, Anthony, this is better than Second Avenue Deli. The last one we had was Second Avenue Deli, and this is better, Aunt. I'm not kidding. The soup for sure is better than Katz's. Katz's soup. Brown Kanish. Oh my God. Is it hot? Yeah, hot. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at it. Hold on. I'm gonna use a, oh, wow, Anthony, wowza. Wowza. If you don't know what a knish is, it's just mashed potato. It's potato in a flaky 
and mustard. Oh my god, Anthony. Okay. Going in. Going in. Hold on. Alright, can't get that. Hold on. Oh my god, Ant. Wait, it's looking wait. darn good. What do you want to see dinner? Get food. Mmm. Oh my God, yeah. Fantastic dinner. We have to get. We have to um. Look at this. Look at this flake. That's hot. Flaky pastry. Look at this flaky pastry. Look at the heat. Do you see the heat? I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, it's we got on some fire. In the look background. at that. Mm. We got a little Sinatra back there. Alright, you can put this on your side if you want. Mm -hmm. Sinatra's a pain in the neck. We'll probably get copyright. Right, Jeremy. Like, Maybe you can't hear it. We're talking. Share a couple bucks. Mm. Oh, man. Hi, Kalawala. Mr. Anthony ain't playing. I love that. <laughs> Hi Brenda, how are you? You love the knish? That's right. That's, this is the best that round knish right. I ever had. I don't believe it. How good it is, Aunt. I am not playing. It is so good. Tonight you should be receiving a package soon. Oh, Georgie. Mwah. Thank you so much. You're so generous. We love you. Thank you so much. All right, wait a minute. I want to see what um I missed. Hold on. Freaking delicious. Great knish. Oh, and there's coleslaw. I didn't try that. Oh no, I would never forget the mustard, Stephen, because I love the mustard. So of course they give you the dill pickle. And what is this called again? I forgot. Half sour. Half sour. This is the half sour. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. I actually like these. The nice bright green color. Let me show you something. Mm. They're both good, right? Let me try and get a piece here to show you how thin they cut it. Look how thin they cut it. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, I'll take this piece off. Look at that. Now, they make their own pastrami in-house, their own recipe. Every day. Since 1953. Am I right about that? Let me make sure. Since 1953. Yes, was when it opened up. They used the same it's recipe, called even though it's different owners since they Yes, it's Liebman's it's the same recipe. Kosher Deli, and it's and they're opening up a new. Hey, Sonia, great to see you. Um, Sonia, how you doing? How are you? Um, and they're opening up a new one, another one rather. It hasn't opened up yet, but they're opening up another one in Westchester because we're not far from Westchester, as you know. The Bronx is also connected to Westchester. Yeah, this they is are. So actually. good. Mm. Cucumber undercover. Yeah, it's it is a cucumber. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, Anthony, this is so good. I saw a stuffed pepper go by. I saw a hot dog go by. The food here is, is excellent. Mm. So if you're like in town, if George you're loves the side of glistening meat. Come to the Bronx because if you're gonna be in town, come to the Bronx. And like normally I would say come for dinner. But the lunch special, the dinner <laughs> special for restaurant week, same charge $30. as the lunch special, and it's more food. So like, come, for, come for dinner. But you could still get the exact same thing we just got for thirty dollars. Anthony, look what Darlene said about Costanza. Right there, George Costanza. George Costanza, I find the pastrami to be the most sensual of all the salted cured meats. It is. Look at the scent. I'll tell you. You see. Thank you, Sonia. Darlene, very sensual. Hey, Arnold. 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 Hey, Arnold.
McDonald's. This is so good, I can't get over it. Mm. Yeah, Reverend Jenny said that her father, even though he was born in a little town, that he grew up in a little town in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. loved the Jewish food. I think everybody does. All New York. Was he a New Yorker? Did he ever come to New York? Was he a New Yorker? No, but probably, yeah. But. Oh, and he said that her mother used to cook tongue when she was a kid. I was very Jewish. Um, I don't think I've ever had Well, it's like me now. He says it's delicious. Like, maybe I should try that. I've never had tongue. You should try it. I would try anything. The only thing I wouldn't try is pig's feet. I'm not into the, into the pig's Reverend feet. Reverend Jenny, I love deep tongue at Jewish delis with mustard on rye. Mm. Lord, take me. <laughs> and by the way, who could possibly get all this meat, this food by themselves? You can't. Right? It's, that's why I said it. it's a We're really good deal. It, the half a sandwich is huge. It's so good. And it's kosher. Right? <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, think about it. At dinner. I like chopped liver too. I love chopped liver. Oh, I love chopped liver. Two people could have a huge meal for 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. Where can you get that in New York? <laughs> that wasn't pretty. <laughs> I see myself in the mirror. The net's hiding the damage. Oh, really, Ron? I didn't know that. Where Ron said? Oh, and Helena's grandmother makes tongue. She can make tongue. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta try. You guys are all talking about it. Ron said roasted pork skin is the potato chip of the Philippines because it's thin and crunchy. Yes. Oh my God, this is so good. By the way, their mustard that they have, you can see the um, it's a very the mustard, good mustard seed in it. This is a very good. Oh, it's so classy. delicious. I love mustard. That's a mustard. classy mustard, guys. I know you said $60. That is cheap. But what I'm saying is for $30 right now, for $30, look at all the food we got. And I'm eating half the sandwich with you. I'm getting full. And look at the amount of coleslaw she gave. I didn't even taste the coleslaw yet. Mm -hmm. It is, Tanya, it is. So good. This is the reason why one of the things we always Hi, Coconut, people, how are you? Coconut Telegraph, how you doing? How you feeling? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. How you have you been? Brenda, you've never had pastrami? Oh, had my pastrami. God. Oh, you're not living life. You've had corned beef, though, right? Because you can get all the deli meats here. Corn beef. I heard the corned beef's good, too. We didn't get that today, but I can't get over that soup. I just can't get over it. I think the I think the regular does look good. I certainly walked in, but I also saw the black and white. So now mm. you want black and white, right? I think we're gonna go black and white. Classic, delicious. I want to say this. I was my last, gonna say my, one to of my last my flights. What do I always tell you guys? We always tell you guys, but I always like to emphasize it, and we emphasize it as a channel and as people, as people that visit New oh. York. A lot of you guys in New York, as you already know this, but people that visit New York who've never been to New York, don't stay in the city. Come to the outer boroughs if you have enough time on your hands to see some things and do some exactly. explorations, especially food explorations. Stex, I think I will. In the outer boroughs. Steven food sent a super chat and told me to. I can't help but I have to. Right, the net? Absolutely. Explorations, especially of food in the outer boroughs. Let me finish eating. Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. 
Head to Queens. Queens, amazing food in Queens. Queens head has to so Staten much. Island. Mm -hmm. head, head out to the outer boroughs. Visit these places. If you have time, don't just stay to Manhattan. Because, you know, especially if you're doing, like, food exploration or if you're on your, like, 46th visit to New York and you've seen a lot of the Manhattan things, head to the other boroughs because there's interesting crap in the other boroughs. Like, I, I'm, we haven't even scratched the surface. We could never scratch the surface of what's interesting in New York in one lifetime. That's true. That's absolutely true, man. Great, uh, it, it, then you know what I'm talking about, Jan. Oh, I'm good. It's so fresh and crunchy. Mmm. The other one was like salty kind, right? And this is like a crunch. Mmm. You're a foodie, April, then, right? Darlene W. says, my friends live in Queens and they always take us to great restaurants when we visit. It's so true. There's so many great places in Queens. It doesn't end. And yes, stuff is Look at this. expensive nowadays to eat out. Look at this. But like, not Look at as this. expensive as in Manhattan. I want to try it now. Yeah, but it's not just about and expense. amazing food. It's about, well, the thing about Queens is there's diversity, right? There's all these different nationalities. Like, you know, we go to the Queens Night Market and you can get a taste there if you can't go everywhere. Imagine going to the Night Market and, and these little stalls have restaurants and there some of them are homemade. In, there were places you in could Queens. See so much, you could taste so many different things in just $5 and a little bite. Go with somebody else. Both take mm -hmm. a bite each. You're tasting different places in the world. You're tasting Philippine right. food. You're tasting Jamaican food. You're tasting uh korean food you're tasting spanish food you say all the different nationalities every nationality you never heard of am i right now yes the in queen the, just talking about queens alone oh. where we live in queens you can go to a mall you know what mall food is like mm -hmm. but in queens you can go to a mall this and get delicious. food in some spots in malls in queens that's as good as any restaurant you're going to find in the city Am I wrong? You're right. You can go to a mall, a little food court in mm. Queens. Looks like a, it might look like, yeah, I hate to say it, but it doesn't look like anything. It looks like nothing. And you go like this. Oh my God, this is good as anything I got in Manhattan. Jamie <laughs> can be hungry, is. says Cole. I can't believe how good this is. <laughs> Very Alan? delicious. Alan, you would love it here. Is Alan back? Alan back in the house? Alan. In the house? Oh my hey God, Alan. Alan. Welcome back. Oh, you would love it. Oh, here. Alan. Have you ever been up to Liebman's oh, exactly. in the Bronx, Alan? The Kanish was amazing. This is delicious. Let me move it over before I eat the whole thing. The coleslaw is delicious. I can't get over it. Yet. Liebman's Kosher Deli in, in uh, the Bronx. Head up to the Bronx. That is so delicious. Anthony, not the one way, thing was bad. The cool scoop of coleslaw is enough for three or four people, by the way. I'm going to have another little bite. Anthony, instead. there is nothing here that isn't delicious. Because I want to save room for dessert. Do you realize there's nothing here that isn't delicious now? No, everything was excellent. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright, I'm cleaning up. Wow, that was an amazing sandwich. Yes, that's right. There's people, like people over 120 countries and queens. If you want it, you, you can find it. Oh, it's so Incredible. delicious. Good. So what do you want for dessert? Ruggola, mini black and white cookies, or babka? We're going oh, black and white, but the vodka is tough so, to but pass you want up. Black and white. Black and white yeah. Let's go hey black and white. And we're going to take a mozzarella to go as well. A pint or a quart? Pint. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Pints wait, no, we'll get a quart. We'll get a quart. quart. How about two pints? Okay. Two pints. Two there you go. Two pints. This way we can have it for lunch tomorrow. We'll have our own individual. We don't have to get a bowl or anything. Thank you, Steven. Thank you so much. 
Oh my God, was that good. Anyway, I was saying before that Sarge's matzo ball soup is delicious. So it has delicious, been but inconsistent. It's inconsistent. The liquid here, let me tell you something. The liquid of the soup here is what I want to make for my Italian wedding soup. And as far as the pastrami uh, is here, Hi, Keith. I stack the pastrami here stacks up no. easily with no, I think it's better. and Sarge's. I think well, Katz's is in its own. Katz's, Katz's is only Katz's. I don't really compare. To don't anyone. pay attention to any of those people who say it isn't any. No, way it's good. It it's is. good, but it's different because it's <laughs> it's cut with a knife and it's thick they cut and it they thick. make it thick and so it has its, its own flavor deal, and, like, and it's delicious that. but this stacks up i think it's better than sarge's alan you would love it here you would You'd love, love it. it here this the only so problem is, is you can't get a signal in the dining room we gotta sit over here signal. We by, the, uh, sit out by the by the by mirror the watch dining. watch <laughs> alan i'll show you hold on look where we are look where we are alan look at it it's a mirror look. we're sitting by the mirror see the mirror but look behind me, guys. Right over there are two vats. Wait, let me, let me see if I can get it better. Right over here, one's a vat of soup, and the other one is a vat of matzo balls. Yeah, so, do you just two pints? You sure? Because a quart's going to give you two matzo balls. All right, we'll give you a quart. Two, one quart. Thank okay. you. One quart. You got it. <laughs> you know better. <laughs> she knows better than we'll we'll How long have you been working here? Okay. I've been in this industry for 10 years, but I came from Ben's Deli. Which oh, was, yes. I remember and I was Ben's. In the one in Manhattan, but they're not, they're not Ben's anymore. They're a black kosher restaurant. Oh. So I came here in September and then I went over to the new store in Ardsley. It's Ardsley uh, when they're opening. Oh. Ardsley and West Do you know Westbury. what month? Like around? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Same. Okay, so they're opening up in Ardsley. That's where they're opening. And that's what I wanted to tell you, Anthony. I forgot. When we first walked in and we walked to the back, I said, oh my God, I think we've been here before. And then I realized, no, it's not that I've been here before. This is the exact, exact, exact same layout as Ben's. Do you remember Ben's that closed? Ben's on um, Queens Boulevard? They closed. They look just like this, except instead of booths, it was all tables. Do you remember? Yeah, but she's not talking about Ben's kosher. She's, she's talking, talking about Ben's. She's not talking about Ben's kosher. She's talking about Ben's Best. Oh, okay. She which is on what? Ben's Best, which was in Manhattan also. But oh, like, she's not Queens? Not the one in Queens. She worked in the one in Manhattan, but they closed. Now, Ben's Best was <coughs> Ben's Best was yeah. in um, Queens Boulevard. That was what it was called? Ben's Best was right. the one in Queens Boulevard. So this, that went build, out of so this restaurant looks... Thank, thank you. you. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so the restaurant looks like the same as Ben's Best. Oh, I don't know, man. The chocolate looks we'll like that. We'll have to take it out. All right, let's show you. Oh, they're nice and fresh. I don't know, the chocolate looks a little funny, but look how small it is. It's kind of I like cute. the freshness. All right, well, let me see you eat it through the mirror. Hold on, hold on. Let me see you eat it. Mm. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna go down the middle first. It's good, but not great. Next time I would go back. Okay, let me turn it around. The thickness of the chocolate. I don't like the chocolate at all. I think there's something wrong with it. <laughs> and the vanilla's too hard. The vanilla's too hard. But what's delicious is... Okay, we found something that's not perfect. What's delicious is the cake, though. Look at that, the cookie pot. Mmm, that's delicious. Um, no, I'm waiting for your soup, then I'll get your check. Okay, thank you. It's definitely not the best. It doesn't even taste that good. Yeah, it doesn't taste that good. It's not great. Look, watch what I could do. Watch what I could do. If you could do that, then it's not good. Yes, Ardsley is north of uh, Yonkers. Too far now? I don't know. What did we oh, get? Brenda Nelson with a $10 super chat. 
29 days membership today. I've had corned beef. My mom made the best and shipped its by. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you Thank so, you much, so much, Brenda. How generous of you. Brenda is generous. So Brenda, another one of our wonderful so members of our genius family. And thank you so much so many so many nice people part of the part of our little get togethers just so you guys don't know if there's any johnny come late please in the chat I don't know where we are we're at liebman's oh look Ocean at all the Deli cookies everybody thank you pammy and jackie and darlene and the bronx sonia and lap and george for all the cookies hi city emeralds how are you Ask for City the live stream discount. Ask for the live stream. We funny. never do, actually, no. in all seriousness, we never do things like that. No. Have we ever gotten one? Yes. But no, we've never, we never requested We never got we never a discount. We've gotten City um City Island. Johnny's Reef has given us food that very first time we went live. Yes. The very, very first time. They were blown away by us going there. Sonia, remember for five months? Yay, Sonia. You, Sonia, love ya, the love Nick you Anthony. too, Sonia. Thank you, we love you too. Just like Ambrose, did you just drop the the, the uh, address? Thank you so much, Ambrose. Thank you, Ambrose. That's great. That, that is Thank great. Thank you, City that Ambrose. Is Thank you, Sonia. Address, two, uh, 235th Street. So I just want to. I also before we forget, I just wanted to mention that Anthony, did you include it in this video? The what? rules. Oh yeah, I bet there's a temp. There's a there's like some channel guidelines along with some other information that we added that is going to be from now on at the in the descriptions the of all the videos. You guys like just for like you guys <clears throat> just to read over when you get a chance. Just to read if over in when case you, get a you want to know what our rules are, because we just added them. We have the, some. Do you rules. want some rug oh, Um, rug let it go. You know what? Can you add something else to that? The rug plot? Yeah, how much do you want? Uh, just to taste. Yeah. We just want to taste it. Yeah, just want to taste it. Thank you, oh, so, thank much, you Jody. so much, Jody. Thank you so much. Jody's the best. And you come here. Ask for Jody. Hi, Lisa UK. How are you? Yeah, so if you want to look at the guidelines, the rules, whatever, you guys know what to do. You're adults, right? I like to call them guidelines. In the end, it's basically. I think what they're we simple, request straightforward and ask for, to the so fourth thank you. point, and they're all, all right for like and to let us have some freedom, but also have some guidelines okay, so to, to live by. Thank you. Yeah, right now we're gonna try it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. Let me see. Hold on. Keep in mind that's with two. That's with a giant soup to go. The matzo ball soup to go is seventeen dollars, and the matzo ball here is ten dollars, so that's twenty-seven dollars. So, so twenty-seven extra plus the thirty for restaurant week and the tax, which is five dollars. She did not charge us for sharing. Comes to sixty-two dollars and six cents, and that was worth it. Remember, we're also having some rugula and soup to go. We're taking a oh, trip to go. Wow, look at that. Nice and nice. Thank you, nice. cool guy. I remember for five months. Love you guys. I like being so, part of the genius. Soup to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look how oh. generous she was. Look at this. She gave us four rugglers. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wait, okay, so that looks like raisin, Aunt. Look, that looks like raisin. I smell the smell. I smell these outside. This is like a cherry. What is this? Is this like a cherry? Anthony, um, uh, cool guy said, I love you guys. I like being part of the genius. Look, five months. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, cool guy. And what Thanks, else? Ricardo. Is there other ones? Wait a minute. This might be fig. Yeah, this one looks like... These two are the same. This is a, uh, this is like a... a I don't know, just taste it. I don't know. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Mm. When you get oh your dessert, get the go for the rugula, guys. I'm gonna try this one. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is that? What the hell is that? Try this one. It's delicious is what it is. I taste the cinnamon. But then this one looks different. This one looks like something else. 
think it might be cherry. Mmm, mmm, good. Now that's a good ending to a meal. This is regular, not hamantash. Sure but have, I love hamantash. I bet too. they have hamantash in here. Mm -hmm. Arugula, not arugula, rugula. <laughs> not arugula. <laughs> not arugula. It's not a leafy green yes, vegetable. Yes, I said it wrong. <laughs> Get yourself some arugula. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't know which one I like better. They're, they're all so good. I love it. I love it. Look at the inside. So you see like a layer of cinnamon here on the bottom. Oh my gosh, guys. And that layer is a raisin. But that's not... It's not a soft raisin. <laughs> it's like a nice raisin, you know? You see it? Look at the inside. Look at all that Stephen cinnamon. Stephen Fox, you ain't kidding. Stephen. I'm from Manhattan Special. Stephen, you have to come Thank here. You. Oh my God. You gotta come over here to, to the Bronx, Steve. Hit the Bronx, right over the bridge. This is one of my new Hit favorite restaurants right here in the Bronx. Right into the Bronx. Mm. This was better than Ben's best. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have 15% left. Yeah. You can leave 15%. it in the book for me, okay? Yeah. And have a wonderful Thank, Thank you so much, Jody. Thank you very much. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, am I saying it wrong, Alan? Wait a minute. You have to pronounce the ch at the end of rugula. So it's not rugula. 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 Emily is, says, Brantley says a big hello to everyone. He's been called back to service hey, this time in the Army for three months. Much love, DNA. Well, thank, thank you, you for much. being a member. I know you've been just been, uh, again, if you weren't here before, you've just been, um, what is it called? Um, gifted? Gifted. Anthony, I can't stop eating the rug look. It's so good. Thank you, sir. Guys, have a wonderful you day. You too. Thank, thank you so much. Well. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Emily, this is to you and Brantley. It'll be all right. Thank you. Everything will be all right. Brantley, be Brantley, come back soon. Oh, waitress. Yes, you did. did. We, we you sung did, to you. You missed your happy birthday song. And we had Jewish food at... Uh, Liebman's Kosher Deli. In the Bronx. In the Bronx. Oh 235th God. Street. I could have stopped Excellent. eating instead. Some rugala. Black and white? No. See, look, look at the chocolate. Tastes funny. What's the only thing wrong here? There had to be something wrong. There had to be something. You'll get the black and whites for your dessert when you come. Oh, waitress, we sang Stick to you. The and we said, happy birthday to you, oh, waitress. <laughs> And a waitress, I know. Thank you, honey. Oh, Brett M gave a five dollar. Um, how do you say that? Five pounds. Thank Brett you so M much. With a five Brett, pound thank you so much, Brett thank M. You're so generous. Chat. Thank you so much, Brett. February 9th is a waitress. Greatly. Feb 9th is a, a waitress's waitress. birthday. Thank you, Brett. Sammy will be okay. He got his got his. Uh, Sammy will stuff. be alright. He has mom to take care of him. That's right. Thank you so much, Brett, and Darlene, and Desi Des, and Desi Des, and Steven, and Steven, and Viv, and Viv. Mm -hmm. As you always, you guys are the best. All of you guys, everybody that gave that gave today, we really appreciate it. We appreciate the ninety people delicious. in the chat. If he doesn't eat it, I'll I'll finish eating it. Oh my God. Perfect, perfect. The I have to show good. you the soup one more time. Hold on. Hi, Carol. How are you? Carol, how you doing? Okay, I gotta show you the soup. The C A K in the chat. Mm -hmm. Nick Johnson. Mine is the tenth. Nick, happy birthday to you. Wait, Nick, yours is the tenth. I don't think I have you down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think we had Nick written down. We had a three different. Yeah, I don't have you. I'm so sorry, Nick. So sorry, Nick. Nick but happy Johnson. Birthday I think to you told you. me and I forgot. 
February 10th. 92 people in the chat. Thank you, everybody, Listen, for coming out with us. Next time we go live, I think I'm going to sing Happy out. Birthday again because we forgot to put the Happy Birthday um, yeah, so emoji. Gonna a, so we're going to do it again. We're going to do a redo. A so if you want to come to the next one. On the oh, next your son is the 7th? In laws is the 9th. Mine is the 7th. My niece is the 11th. Wow. It's the 10th. And my niece is the 11th. Does everybody celebrate their birthday in February? If that's my an expensive is month. The 24th. In your family. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Stay well. You too. Expensive month in, the, in uh, your time. Ask a question, Phil. Ask a question. We, we have to get out of here and get to the uh, battery so shortly. Ron said we'll the most important about, rule on chat number one is Danette is always right. Number two, Danette is, if Danette is wrong, go to rule number one. Anthony, Correct. do you have to visit, visit the, the men's room? Yeah, I kind of do, I think. But I'll go like, to the I'll go to the car then. Hold on, just give me let me get my jacket on. Actually, the 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 signal will be better outside anyway. Yeah, you can get the thing out of the trunk. Get the wire with the bend in it. Yeah, yeah. You want to plug yeah. it in. Uh, once you plug that in, everything. <laughs> what? I slid. You slid off the chair. <laughs> I slid off the chair. Just wake up, says floor. George. Good night, John Matthews. If you're late, uh, like leaving, thank Happy you so much again, for being John. here, guys. Let me just get the key, Anthony, because well, you, you could take go. Care of I got the key. If you want to go, I'll take, take your jacket. And, uh, this thing with me. Don't you need get another? You need some more water? Right. Let me give you your jacket. Here it is. Do you want my do you want the phone? Do you, want um, my phone? you know what? Give me your phone. It's right here. Alright, we're heading out, guys. I'm gonna show you the soup. I'm gonna show you the soup and if it goes off a little. It shouldn't. It, it goes off a little then. The should get better the closer you get to the front. Okay, then I'll show everything. There's another mirror. Look, guys, look. Look, there's the chicken. Look at the chicken. Look at the soup. You see, you can just get soup. You just can get noodle soup. You don't have to get the matzo ball. And that's the matzo ball. I mean, look at that. Holy mackerel. Look at that, guys. Got salmon salad here, chicken salad, tuna salad in the back, egg salad. I think that's called carnavisco. You guys could tell me. And the one in the back, I forgot what that's called. These are cold. They have to warm them up. Those are the stuffed uh, cabbage. Look at the potato salad. That looks good. Cucumber salad, the coleslaw, which is excellent. You got to peel some of the meats. Look, look at the meats. The meats is the hot dog. I think that's the tongue. There's the roast beef. There's the right on the left hand side is the turkey, fresh turkey. There goes all the different olives. I mean pickles, sorry. Oh, look at those. I didn't even see those. Look at the turkey. Look, guys, there's the potato knishes. Those look good. Oh, Kasha Vanishka, that's right. Yeah. There's eggplant. There's the chopped liver in the back. There's the baba ganoush. I forgot what that's called. That looks like uh, in the middle is, I forgot the name of it because I can't remember. Hummus, that's it. There's the macaroni salad. There's the little hot, the little hot dogs, little mini, little mini hot dogs, little mini um, knishes. A, a dessert with cinnamon and pineapple. That looks like meatloaf. Here's the knishes that we got. I don't forget that's called noodle. Can noodle, what is that called? Let's see. It's called, oh, barley. I don't remember. Okay, don't remember. Oh, look, here's the soup of the day. They have soups of the day. Today is mushroom barley. They have potato leek. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. No, I'm, I'm just, I I'm just you. looking. Look, there's the hot dogs. Look at that. There's the delicious rugula. Look at that, guys. Look. And there's the desserts to go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's get out of here because I got We're gonna be. If I don't get to the car, we're gonna be ending by mistake because 
We're down to 10%. Anthony's gonna kill me. And here's where we are again, guys. Here it is. Liebman's Jewish, the last of the Jewish deli in the Bronx. It's the only one, the only one left here. It used to be years and years ago, when they first opened in 1953, there used to be hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds of these delis. And this is the last one left. Do you believe it? From 1953, look at this place. Nails and bubbles. This is, this is the current situation in the neighborhood. Look how pretty that is. Nails and bubbles. You get your nails done, your facials done. All right, let me get the, uh, I'm gonna put you in the trunk for a moment. And let me get, I'm gonna put you in the trunk. Here, I'll turn, turn you around so you can see me. And there's a key food over there. There we go. And I'm just gonna plug you in for a second. Just a second. Gotta get you plugged in. I don't know which one he said, the one, the one with the angle. There it is, that's the one with the angle. Let me get that in there. All right, there we go. That side's in. Now we got to get this side. Yeah, it's the last kosher deli, Alan, in the Bronx. Do you believe it? In the Bronx, the last kosher deli. There we go. Now, Anthony always tells me that the poor has to blink. It's not blinking. It's on, but it's not blinking. Let me see. Anthony, if you're in here. Now, nah, you're in the bathroom. You're not in here. Oh, okay, I got it in the right spot. Just got to give it a minute. There we go. It's on life alert right now. It's on red. It's on red. It's so it's so uh, down. Excuse me, guys. I have to blow my nose. It's cold out here. All right, maybe we'll go inside. What's sad? Oh, thank you, Adriana. I didn't even know I looked like that. I can't even see. All right. Hi, Colleen. Oh, the bubbles in the trunk. Yes. Actually, you want me to do some bubbles? Hold on, hold on. Look at this. This is the tray of bubbles. Look. Here's the tray of bubbles. Remember this? So I can make big bubbles. And then I've got the small bubbles. Here's the small bubbles. But look how windy it is. If I do bubbles, it's going to hit me in the face. Wait, watch. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Do you see the bubbles? Look. See, did you see the bubbles? <laughs> I can't help it. I have to be a kid. I can't help it. I'm never going to change. I got to be fun. Because that's the way I am. Childlike. Now I need the nap that the other napkin, the clean tissue, to wipe the soap off my hand. I hope it's going up. It's not it's not changing. If we get disconnected, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna get in the car. Let me get in the car and I could actually maybe plug it into the car. Hold on a minute, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. Let's see. I don't know why it doesn't work all the time. I just don't know why. Well, this was really fun, by the way, coming here because I've never been here before. And I can't get, I'm so full, I ate so much food, but I can't get over how delicious it was. I just can't get over it. I don't have my phone, I have to, oh no, look what I just did. Oh no, oh no. I don't know how I did that. I'm gambling with the gimbal now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what's going on. All right, let me just hold it like this and bring it to me. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I did. I hit it. It hit it. And now I hit it. And now it's like, oh, here he comes. Watch this. You guys are going to go for a ride now. Maybe it's not connected to the phone properly. Yeah, here he comes so he can fix it. But also, like, I'm holding the gimbal. If I let go, you're going to go flying. Watch. You see, it's not right no more. I don't know what I did. 
some gimbal. Maybe Anthony, maybe you should put it uh, on the window because the gimbal's like temperamental. You guys ready for the football game? What is it, February 11th, I believe. Just blame the bubbles. Anthony, Let watch, I'm gonna show you. Now close the door first. Oh. It's too cold. Yeah. Oh, you have an also, little, also it's oh little now little it's going to fifteen. Problem? Yeah, it's on fifteen now. It's okay. It's working. That's Wait. working, but the ga the gimbal's going nuts. But all right, guys, this is like a oh you know how to do it. There you I go. don't. Okay, I'll get in first. It's Hold not on. the I'm the um to, the paw isn't uh, blinking, but it did go up. It was on ten. And I gave them a little bubbles right right in front of the bubble place. It did? What's this name called? Nails and Bubbles? Nails and Bubbles. What's the bubbles for? I don't know. They have bubble tea? <laughs> Anthony. Anthony to the rescue. Absolutely. Always. Sure. I don't know facial what I would do without bubbles, him. as in facial. What is this They're going scrubbing. on here? Anthony, where's my give... phone? Thank you. They're scrubbing me. <laughs> They're scrubbing, <laughs> scrubbing your face. Anthony, I was thinking about like what would be my favorite place on my birthday. Yeah. I gotta can't bubble. go here now because we just went. It's Whoa. so good. It's so good. We just went. Thank you so much for uh, Thank you. suggesting bringing home some soup, uh, Stephen. That was amazing. Good idea. Let me uh, refresh you guys. Probably didn't need to refresh you, but you never know. All right. Anyway. All right. So, what do you want to do? How are you feeling? Know. You want to end it? You want to yeah, drive right. a little more? You want to drive back? Uh, we could want to drive, drive a little to more. Park? Yeah. Well, why not? You want to put that in? Vic D. Benedetto, hilarious comedian, birthday is February 9th. He has a cat named. Kerry says. <laughs> Kerry says, "Go Niners." Oh. What time is it anyway? What is it? Three ten. Yeah, do you wanna uh, you wanna go for a little ride back towards Queens and we'll show it? Back right towards Queens. Did you wanna show anything else? Or you think that's enough? We could have wanted That's ride. enough for today. We've already yeah, been on two hours back. and twenty minutes. There was other places that we wanted to show, but look how long that took. Right that now? sushi place with the robots was a cool place. Thank it you, was, man. wasn't it? That's C A K. What did she Remember say? Remember the sushi it? place with the robots oh, was yeah, cool. That was kinda goofy. Hi Carrie, I didn't even know you were here. Anybody who we missed, I'm so sorry. I, you know, we were if stuffing we our you, faces. We were we stuffing were our face. If we missed you, I try not to miss you. Hi, Daryl Janik. How you doing, Daryl? Welcome aboard. For the next birthday, we're going to the disgruntled pizza, pizza place. <laughs> we were just talking about that, George, right? And I was thinking, what if we went back there? But we would have to tell him. Nah, I don't want to go back. I really don't. We have to tell him, you know. We could go back without the camera. You know what we could do? We could go back with a hidden camera. I'll like put the camera over here on my hidden chest. Camera. And just see how they treat you when you're a regular customer. They do not remember what happened that night. Oh, yeah? It's not the, It's not whether they remember. It's the gimbal. The guy is addicted, is a, a, a not happy with the gimbal. I don't like the gimbal. He's nothing personal. He just didn't like the gimbal. He's just a non-gimbal lover. Oh, Brent, I know who Vic is, yeah. You know who I do love, though? I love, he is funny. I also love, the, the I've next, said it, she Sebastian said it before. Maniscalco, because he reminds me of Italian stuff that I've had, like the real stuff that's happened in my family with the crazy relatives and stuff. The net okay, is through, yes. All right. I'm going to, like, we'll go for a ride back. You want to head back to the Bronx, uh, back through the Bronx? You want to head says, back home? You want to like drive a little while, or you want to end it, buddy? I, I, Alila says, "I love that you guys acknowledge everyone." Yes, that is what we've done from the very we beginning. Have, and oh, thank you for absolutely, saying that yes, because you, thank you. That you recognize that because that's exactly how we do it. That's how I do it. That's how we've done it from the beginning. Uh, Classy uh, Sheila and um, Sonia could tell you that. Actually, they've told me personally, they think that they're in the living room with us when our first Christmas. Do you remember that, Sheila and uh, yeah, Sonia? That's right. And I would say their names because I was like, you are here with us. You're just not physically here with us. And Alan, ever since I then, want, excuse, I just always did that. Yes. Excuse me. Alan, enjoy the game. He's heading to the Nick game. Oh, Go that's Knicks. that's right. Go Knicks. Have fun, Alan. Go Knicks. Nine in a row. Let's go for nine in a row. Have fun, Alan. you and your, um, and your nephew. 
All right, now, what should we do? Why don't we drive Drop just a little in a bit? Row. Why don't we drive just a little bit? All right. Where can we go? Where do you want to go? You want to go to Yonkers? You want to go to... You want to head back to Queens? Want to go up to Yonkers? Like for a ride? Like where? Right, you want to drive by... Like just to show Westchester is not yeah, that far? It's not that far. Pick a place, put it in as your destination where you want to go. How about... um? How, oh, I wonder where we could go. We haven't been there in a long time. Why don't we go to um the Cross County Shopping Center? We'll show. Oh, I haven't been there in ages. Let's All right, go. So here, you put it in. All now right. Gonna You're gonna hold this to for a, a minute, bit, just to show Westchester. So now you'll know that we're not far from Westchester. It's gonna be just me, man, in the chat for yeah. a little bit, guys. But first, I'm gonna do this. Thank you for being uh, here, everyone. We love it. And keep in mind that um Valentine's Day is coming up. The football game. It's the year yes. of the dragon. It's 12 minutes away. Oh, so that's it. Oh, so we're going to be on for another 12 minutes and then we're going to end it. How's that, in? Is that good? Yes. Let's go like for another a little 15 trip. minutes and we'll say goodbye. Let's go. Just for to a little show, trip. look, this is how. So if you're coming from Westchester, if you're coming from Yonkers, this is. So it's really close to the Bronx and Yonkers, Aunt. We're going to go. The restaurant is right in the middle. Yeah. It's I'm right going to put middle. you guys. So you can see okay, we'll where go. we're, we're going. Out. As you can see, Bye, uh, we're going to make a right at Johnson you. Avenue, a left at 236th Street, I believe. Okay. Uh, right at Johnson, then a left. I wonder if Katie F. She, you said she was not far from me. I wonder if she eats there. Katie F. I thought that was Joan Fitz. Oh, I'm sorry, Joan Fitz. I'm getting confused. Who's Katie F? Katie F. Is Katie Fernandez? Oh, Kate Fernandez. She lives in Manhattan. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Katie F. Lives in Manhattan. All right, you know so what it was Joan, when you if, said Katie? Have you ever been here? When you said Katie, I was picturing someone whose name was spelled with a Y. No, I don't know no. why. K A T I E. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what was going on in my head. There's a glot shop over there, so it's still like Jewish it's still it's a little Jewish neighborhood. It is. That can tell that minor little story. You want to hear like a minor short story? You do. I didn't uh, to know. To tell the ti tiny tiny, and now we're gonna make a left. Yep. And then we're gonna make a right immediately. Okay, tell your story. <laughs> Go ahead, Danette, floor it. Actually, we've just recently discovered that Danette does in fact say, Go ahead to me I a lot. I had no idea. <laughs> I was, again, yesterday, I, I was know. watching several of our old videos because I'm editing something just to, just to give you guys a sneak peek. I am doing some editing on something that I'll release in the future. But I was looking at several videos and I'm sitting there next to you, Danette, and I'm laughing to myself because <laughs> I'm going, you got no idea how many times she says, go ahead. No, I don't. I literally do not. This, this chick says, go ahead to I'm me a lot. I'm not even saying, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm saying, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. She really does say, go ahead now a lot. we're going on. No, Hudson, Henry Hudson. Henry Hudson Parkway. No, what? It's on different, different highways today, yeah. We're hitting all the different See, highways. Entrance, Go ahead. That's right, Brenda. Stop. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Brenda, I have a question for you. Did Hobby Lobby get in any Easter decorations yet? You're really yes. going to help me out Danette by answering is fascinated me fascinated by that possibility. I need to know. She needs to know. Did they get any... Did they get the Easter, Easter stuff? Easter decorations yet. Did they get is any in? Easter, Easter crap in yet? <laughs> Is any of the Easter stuff has any it landed? Kind of decorations Have any or bunnies or peeps DIY landed? DIY Easter. Yes, DIY Easter. Any bunnies or little rabbits or anything? Bunnies, rabbits, anything, anything Brenda. Pastel. Wow, I never thought we would go on the Henry Hudson today. Nick Aunt Johnson Brenda. says the one by me did. Oh, did it's it? It's a Nick? variation of Gesundheit, says C A K, says Carol. <laughs> <laughs> the Gahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but I want to be able to say Rugala correctly. Rugala. 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 So now we're on the Henry Hudson going towards Westchester? Probably on February 15th, says Ambrose. And definitely by February 15th. Oh, the middle of February? Okay. I laugh at that New York accent every time I hear her say, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And I didn't even know I was saying it. How dumb is that? Gosh, Easter, I'm not ready. You know why Danette wants to know the info? Uh, you need the to info? jump on that if you're going to go to the Easter parade. Because we got to get uh, working I gotta on... I got to get going. Uh, additions to her bonnet. And on my new 
living hat. You know what's going on. You know there is going to be haddage. Those of you who are not subscribed, if you're not check subscribed, please Easter. subscribe. But for, go and check. And after you subscribe, go away from this video and go and check last Easter to look at the hat situation. Because it's going to be even better this year because I'm not going to have any technical difficulties. Over the country, it over was the world. special. People from all over the world were taking photographs of me and it's wearing my Easter hat. So, go ahead and subscribe, and says S. Fields. Thank you. Thank you. S. And my Easter hat, I swear to God, we had to turn I gotta refresh. We're in okay. the bed. Is it back? We're back in a way. <laughs> anyway, my Easter hat, I loved it so much that I couldn't throw it away. Uh oh, I the next voice is knocking out the signal. Oh, man. Yeah, we're probably just in a dead area. What's Wait, it's coming right? back up again. What's the number? Doesn't matter, it's coming back up. Anyway, my Easter hat, I I I covered it, I put it away. Yeah. And I saved it because I loved it so much, I refused to throw it away. Yes, yeah, so I then, said if they're not gonna have any technical difficulties, that is when it was buffering. But the technical difficulties were not with the hats. The no. hats were amazing. So no, anybody who's not subscribed, subscribe because you're gonna see some hat, hat, yeah, hat when technology. Yeah, when you go back to the video, you can't year. see the technical difficulties. They take it away. Yeah, they take it away. So you didn't so. have to say that. Well, uh, there was some technical. There won't be so much with the technical no. difficulties. So anyway, there'll my be a hat, lot of good hat difficulties. Oh, well, you can see the Bronx River. You can see the water. Oh, right. You can Gotta get water. some Bronx can't River see action. Down, yeah, you can see. You can some. see the water. You can see Look the at that. water. Well, show the water. Go down a little. No, you gotta go up. Well, then oh, okay. went down. Then anyway, I'm gonna show a railing. <laughs> anyway, so there's the Sprain Parkway. The Bronx River. We're gonna go off now and go to the Bronx Parkway, Sprain Parkway. So we're getting on another yes, parkway. Yes, we're gonna get on another parkway. Which, by parkway. the way, is gorgeous. Ooh, that's interesting. The there's Bronx like a gazebo down Queens. there. I mean, going to... I love it so much that I don't want to throw it away. I should give this hat to someone because I'm going to make a new one, right? Anthony just suggested to me to just add to the one I have. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Add to the hat I already have. Is it still bad? You know what it is? It's the it's the area we're in. I guess there's a gazette. That's right. And we're back. Is it in the water? Uh, They're having like a dove speed race. No, I see a dove. You see doves? Swans and doves. There's a lot of them. They must have built a... They built something over there. I've never seen that before. There's like a water park in the, in the river. Do you see it? No, I can't oh, see it. Oh, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. That must be the Sawmill River uh, uh, Pool Club. That's what that is. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, yeah. That's the Sawmill Pool Club. The Sawmill Pool Club. You can only Pool be Club, a resident of Westchester to get in there. Look, you can see it now. Look at it. There's the Sawmill Pool Club, guys. Yeah, they can't see. Yeah, it's hard to see. Railing. It's hard. No, I'm not, actually. You think you I am. You can't see it. It's too far it's away. A, there's a lot of trees Just in the way, guys. Just keep it straight and, and keep track and see if you have to refresh. Just Love keep. the slideshow, says Ron. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like still photographs. Uh, signal to starting to buff back up again. What number is it? It's in 4,000, 449. Oh, we're getting off we're the starting to get, anyway. you know what it is. You know, it's we're going to get off highway. in four minutes anyway. In, in about another five minutes, we're going to get off the, uh, we're going to get, we're going to end it. That's so, right, Ambrose. So ask anybody, ask anything you want. What did we learn today? What did we learn today, Go folks? Go for some pastrami and some Go for pastrami. delicious food. And, and enjoy you, can e you could easily head to the Bronx to get those things. Yes, and we're already in Westchester. We're in Yonkers right now. So guess what? Look at that. We're in Yonkers, and it was only like 15 minutes, 12 minutes away. Yeah. So, Anthony, right, if come we ever on. come back from Yonkers or Connecticut and you want some Jewish food, now we know where to go. I yeah, haven't been know, there already. Sometimes I'm like, uh, like, I'd love to get a sandwich, but there's no good place. No, there's, there's no, no good, good place, place in at, uh, like in Queens. We always have to go to Manhattan. Queens is not great for that no, stuff, type of thing. It's not. Um, there is Ben's uh, Ben's Best. Uh, what is it? Ben's Best. 
Not Ben's they're best. Okay. Ben's kosher. Their soup is there is okay. Ben's kosher, and they're it's okay. It's the best we could get, it, other than going to a diner. But it is not. It's not the best. I mean, this is so much better. Yeah, that's right, Steve. And Stephen Anthony, says we learned food. you don't have to schlep into the city. That's right. For great Jewish that's deli. That's right. And Anthony, I showed the food. Like the food when we were going back, the Jewish food. It Always so check delicious. yourself in the mirror while eating a pastrami <laughs> sandwich. That's uh, our friend George. George. The black and white cookies were nasty, oh, says Carrie. That is right. Oh, Do not go say. with the black and white. Go rugula. Rugula. Go rugula. Or try. Um, we didn't try it. Try the the, the homemade babka. What I would they say. They make their own babka. Yeah. There too. What I would say to all of that is. My answer to all of that is, don't worry about the dessert. Go for the food. Go for the food. That's what I would say. Because you can always head somewhere else and get yourself a good dessert. And there it is, cross Hey, there's Parkway. another Macy's there's right another there. Macy's. I wonder what Macy's that was. Um, we yeah, had been here in so long. We used to go oh to this mall I used to work here. Constantly. The I worked here for here. two weeks. I, I left. This is the place. If oh any God. of you remember that story, yeah. this is the place where the where the net said where the, the 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 boss said like where are you going and the net said come on you're gonna fire me in about a week I'm going out <laughs> to my car and driving oh away. My God. <laughs> you said that. This you know is, you're gonna fire me no, in like a week. Are you gonna let me go? I didn't say fire. You're gonna me. let me go in you're about no a week or fire so. Me. Come on. What it was is we had a meeting. There was five of us girls. And she said that we needed to buy the clothes, and the clothes were very expensive. And Danette had and no was, money. Had she no just money. got just, the job because the she job. needed the money. Right. I had no money. I just started the job. And she's like, well, I'm, I don't know what you're going to do. And meanwhile, I already bought clothes. I, was, I bought clothes, but she wanted me to buy new clothes from their store. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to leave. That's it. She said, where are you going? I was like, well, you all, you just said in the meeting that we have to wear your clothes. Thank you, Ronnie. I was like, what? Hey, what Ronnie this? said, weird. you learned how wonderful you guys Aww, keep getting on Ronnie. every live. Thank you, Aww, Ron. Ronnie, we love Ron you so much. Ron is amazing. Look, it used to be target. Stern's department store. That is yes, right. Yes, right to the left. Ian yes. said that. Ian, Look yes. Look how different <clears throat> it is now, Ann. There used to be a big Hallmark store. Do you remember in here? Bath yes. and Body Works. Oh my God, we haven't been here. Bath in and so Body Works. Long. They used to be a ginormous Hallmark store. There was never a Red Lobster there. There was never always any more of these stores. stores. Oh my Champs God. wasn't we here. Have a lot of restaurants. We used too. to come here all the time, but the, yeah, yeah, this was the place where the net worked. There's a high. There's, a, There's a hotel. There's a hotel. Wait a minute, that's the hotel. Oh my God, they redid that building. That was the hotel. That used to be a place where, where we went there for uh, some kind of a. Um, a thing for the lawyer, and we got stuck yeah. in the. We remember the Weight Watcher people came. Oh, I don't even want to tell this story. The Weight Watcher people came into the elevator, and we got stuck. There was in the a elevator. meeting on one floor. Oh, the floor. It was first too, of all, it was keep a in small, mind small the elevator, elevator was tiny. Yes. The elevator was tiny. It had a weight limit, and it had a very said, sketchy it can only uh, structure. Like maybe four to six people. It it was big enough for about four to five, about maybe four or six And it was just Anthony people. and I were in the elevator. We were in there sudden, alone, and it was one of those elevators that goes like this when it goes up and down. Trunk, trunk, yeah, trunk, I trunk. My back. My bang, back bang, bang, remember? bang, all the way up. Boom, boom, boom. See, they still get a story, even when you don't know you're going to get boom, one. Boom, 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 like all the way up. And so we were always like, the net was always like, oh, I don't like getting on that elevator, I Anthony. Hated it. I hated She go, hated the I elevator. Wanted to go down the stairs, so we got on the elevator. Got on the elevator. And it stops at a floor before we got to the. Right. Before we got to the lawyer's office. We got to the oh, Maybe we should go to the movies. Got to the what's lawyer's playing? office. Okay, I don't keep know. Keep telling your story. I want to see what's playing. Before yeah. we get to the lawyer's office, it stops on a floor, and the net goes, to, the, and uh, and these people get on, and it says that they that's the floor where they have the Weight Watchers meeting. So like, these people get on the I'm thing, see, and Nicholson. I'm going to be honest, they're, they're not that. They're not that. It's not like they're like. Uh, no, like, they weren't crazy over.
Anything. No, but it, it wasn't that wasn't. they were overweight. It it's just, just so coincidental. The it was a Weight Watchers they all, meeting. They all came they out to leave. They to and they wanted there. to get the hell out of there. And they all got on the like elevator that. at the same gosh darn time. And then time. when they were stepping on, it was like, it couldn't You know handle. when the elevator starts going like this? There's like 10 of them. <laughs> you know, Anthony, you Each person that got on. Yeah, is there a signal? And, that yeah, there's a signal. Okay. And it's going... And I'm going like this. I'm going, uh, uh, um, 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 we can't um, get out because we're pinned in the back. Like the, yeah. how we're pinned in the back, and they're coming in. And I'm thinking right to back. myself, could like like um, some of you people stop getting on the elevator? <laughs> I'm like, could you stop getting on the elevator, guys? And that's what I'm thinking in my head. And they, I was like. The net says, Anthony, I'm a little worried. She whispers in my ear because it's like it's packing on. I said there's room for like four to six people. About nine people get on along with us. So now we're packed in like sardines and they press the button and it's those old buttons, you know, big giant plastic buttons. They're not touchscreen buttons or little flat buttons. They're those kinds where you go like this and it depresses all the way in to press the button. And some press and they press like for the floor and the elevator goes. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it, stuck between floors. <laughs> it's bouncing up and down and everybody, then you get the people live with the flop sweat. They start panicking. They're like staring at people, at each other. Oh, what am I gonna do? These are the days before cell phones, of course. So the, you know, we all you gotta do, all you can do is press, the net's the first one, I think. The net's Johnny on the spot reaching for that button that rings the bell. Bring! And then you hear a voice. What's going on down there? Are you guys sick? We're stuck in the elevator. Are you guys sick? Anyone but you at yes. four. Migration at 410 and Wonka at 350, which is in 20 minutes. Hmm. There's other ones too. There's a lot of movies. They just started though. They just started. Anyway, you done telling your story? I was, uh, I was here. Oh, I'm up to the part where we hear the guy through the elevator oh, yeah, calling us, that. telling us, Are you going stuck? Are you low? Yes, we're stuck. Ah, everybody's got the <laughs> flop sweat because it's hot in there. So the net's like worried. I told the net, stay calm. Stay, stay calm. The, the, the elevator stopped to an abrupt stop and my back sweat. was killing me. Do you remember this that? Is like, like, I like felt it in my spine. I don't know what the hell you're saying, guy. Get us out. Get us out of here. And all I, I hear. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Just get us out. Get us out of here. And then we had to climb We up. had to wait. And then finally the door, it's like about, we, we weren't in there that long. I'm going to be fair. We weren't in there that, that long because we're in a mall. So they had mall cops all over the joint. And the, the rescue team, I think must have had a team That's on right, site Brenda. because they were constantly getting stuck in elevators. I hated that elevator. Because they had an elevated team. Now it's a That just showed up. Now it's a Hyatt. I hope they fixed that elevator. I I'm can't sure it's that's not the Hyatt. same elevator. That used to be all office buildings right there in the center. You see it here? It's the only thing that's high that goes in the middle yeah. of Cross County. They tell us they can't. They tell us they can't move the elevator. I want to go They're going to open up the elevator. Oh, okay. Oh, is a fun movie. All right, go ahead, go ahead. They tell her they open up the elevator. So the <laughs> elevator opens up. <laughs> you got el So you the got elevator on an door opens on? up. An escalator? Holy shoot. Yeah, it was called he had to walk the rest of the way. Oh, guys, yes. You're getting me. You guys are always getting me. Stop he had to walk up the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ, I don't like walking. <laughs> I'm in the wrong. We're in the wrong business. Oh, here. I'm sorry, Brenda. Wait, wait, wait. She doesn't work at Hobby Lobby. I was wrong. It's the Hobby Shop. Oh, the Hobby Shop. After Valentine's Day. Okay, thank you. I did. I wasn't sure. Hi, Nick. How are you? Hey, guys. Just that's in right. You don't work at Hobby Lobby. You work wrong. at the Hobby Shop. Hi, Nick. Which, by the way, Hi, Karen. By the way, I Hi, would. Hi, little kitties. Hey, okay. Karen. Hey, Nick. Good. Which, by the, by way, the way, 
I'm glad to hear that in case we go to your store with, with the hobby shop in uh, in Jersey Why, because go visit? I would prefer not to shop at the Hobby Lobby. I don't know anything about I did not about tell Hobby the Lobby. net about that. Well, we don't have a Hobby Lobby by us. Brenda, would you like Hobby us Lobby. to come visit you? I need to get some stuff for Easter. So if that's a place, we don't, there's no place around here. There's no place in the Bronx. That's not, no, there's a place in Westchester. Maybe, but other than that, there's no place to get anything. We did Mike. We did Michaels last year. Last year. Michaels we did closed the Michaels. By us, but the I one by us no is more. closed. We got to go to the one that's further away. So um, here's the deal with that. So anyway, they open up the elevated door and it's <laughs> like a chest level. So it's like hey, like Sheila, they're dragging the people I'm up. Like no, Sheila dude. and Dwayne had to leave and they came back. I saw me. that, but I was struggling with keeping the oh, signal right going, and so I did not read that back. So like the thing opens up a chest level and it's like like oh my god they got it they're dragging people up out of the elevator. And they lifted the net out of the elevator. They were they were like so we have to get a stretcher for you. I was like okay, I'll do it. Well, I put the needless to say I took a step up out of the elevator. So like I pulled up. all the muscles in my thighs. My quadriceps had had like holes in them for like three that. weeks. I don't remember and I'm remember like that. hobbling around like Torgo. Did any of you ever see Mano's Hands of Fate? I'm like my up my my thighs had swollen. Take care, George. We're gonna end it soon anyway. Love you, George. Thank you. George, thanks for being here with us. It used to oh, be a really, Michael's Carol? near me in Queens. Oh, I, have to check I that think out. it was in Woodside or Woodhaven. I've never been there. Um, oh, it's okay. Sheila. I'm not sure if it's I still there. The one near us left. is gone. I didn't know. It's okay. I forgot. I forgot to mention it. I'm oh, sorry, no, it's Sheila. All right. I it's apologize. All right. We won't a long time. It's okay if you leave and come back or leave and don't watch again. It's okay. I, we don't care. It's all right. I mean, we care, but you know what I mean. It's all right. It's life. It's daytime. You it's got life. things it's to daytime. do. You Usually got when to people do. are on, we're yeah, you not, got places when they're to live, go and you I'm got, working. I can't. You got people to go and places to see. I can't watch everybody because I'm working, unfortunately. I know, I think Cool Guy was on live before we were. Cool Guy was live and before us. couldn't do it today, but whatever. Go ahead. You couldn't now. do it. You couldn't do things. But Sonya's like, dying. We got so out of there. had to lift himself. Yeah, you were the only guy in the elevator, I was right? the only man in the elevator. I was the only one. Some of them needed to literally be bodily lifted out of the elevator by like five guys. Yeah, it was very high. I couldn't. Danette was short. a little, but the net was 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 a little more. We were younger. The net was more oh agile in those days. She got out pretty easily. Yeah, it was, I, I don't know how it. Did. She had no problem at all getting out of the elevator. I think I just wanted to get out so bad. I was like, woo! I think that's what it was. One of the guys grabbed my arm, and I was I had used my other arm to pull myself up, and the guy was strong, and boom, we were, I was out. I was like, oh, like the <laughs> Thanks, Reverend head. Jenny's watching it on the big screen TV. It feels like we're in the room. With <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what Life I was going sized. for. There you go, Jenny. That's what we're going for. So, like, we got out of there, and Danette said never again. I do not <laughs> think we ever went up in that elevator ever again. No, I would never get in that again. First of all, we was again. lucky they moved their office yes, after they that. Did. They moved it. They to, moved uh, it to Queens. They moved it I to think. Queens, and then there was another place in Long Island, which which not was Long inconvenient. Island, in Westchester, which was inconvenient to us because we still lived in the Bronx Who's at Rick the time. Flair? But I don't like, know who that whatever. is. Whatever. Who's Rick Flair? That had sounded like I once got got stuck in an elevator with seven guys, says Darlene. Did they start talking to you? There's a story. Seven guys, so it was the opposite. Brenda, I know you in my not. case it was like it was like ten women and one me. That sounds delicious. Tortellini and Italian turkey sausage. Turkey mm, that sounds by good. the way, we had the turkey meatloaf the other day. Not so good. The leftover. Yeah. Not so great. It was a fail. Don't make that. Don't get 99%, 99.9% turkey. Anthony says he's made it with onions and mushrooms to give it moisture. It's really, you're going to have to add more fat, whether you use mayonnaise Rick in a Flair sandwich says, or. Rick Flair says, woo. It has no fat, so it has no flavor. You sounded like what? You sounded oh, like that? Rick Flair. Who's that? Said, woo. Who's Rick Flair? Rick Flair, he was a wrestler, a professional wrestler. He's like a wrestler. In the old, he's, he's a professional wrestler. wrestler from way back. Oh, Not okay. from the modern era, from further back. 
He's more like in the Bye, rowdy, Nick, rowdy Piper too. era. See you later. <laughs> See you later. I have to go. Thanks for one stream. You're the best. We have to go too. Let's yeah, go, man. Yeah, all right. We've been on too long. We're going to go. Bye, everyone. We everyone. love you. We love you. We love you. Happy birthday, February birthdays. Happy birthday. Have We're going to sing birthday. again. We're going to sing time the out. next time and we'll have the emoji just because we have to we'll make have it up emoji. to you. We got to make and it up to you. Moderators, you are the, mwah, the cream of the crop. The creme de, de creme. The Cadillac of cars. The best in the world. We love They're you. Thank you for taking care of all of us. Always doing a and great job. Watching, we Always working you hard. More than you ever know. <laughs> Any, every single one of you. Get it. You guys are the best. You're always we working so hard for us, you moderators, off, and all of you friends who showed up. If there's anybody new here, please consider subscribing. It's a lot of fun. You oh may see God, I get Jenny. unhinged oh occasionally. You may see oh I get God. unhinged occasionally. Sometimes the neck gets unhinged. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we may go to a Jewish deli in the Bronx. Sometimes we may be out on the street. You never know what's going to happen. We're going to have fun. So join us and... If you haven't given it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs sometimes up. Sometimes we have a birthday party where someone comes in and sings to Anthony. And does, yes. He doesn't know what's the singing telegram. Sometimes there were clowns. There's more sometimes than one there clown. Were no, sometimes there's no clowns. Bye, Carol. Bye, Thank Brenda. you so much Bye, for being Pammy, with us. Star, so, cool guy, Joan. Bye. Everybody. Darlene. Thank you for coming. Nick. Everybody that Sonya, sent super Dean, chats. Ian, everyone that uh, Jenny, uh, Darlene Ambrose. who bought some memberships for us. Thank you so much, all Darlene. Everybody that sent super chats or super stickers. All the folks who are members, not members, want to be members. Go ahead, guys. Bye, Ronnie. We loved having you come along with us and we love doing this. We'll see and you next time. We had a Hopefully lot of fun. Hopefully it won't be that much longer. You know we don't have a schedule except for first of the month. Thank you, Jackie. But hopully we won't be too much longer. Maybe this weekend. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, Maybe bye, Viv. We'll thanks see. again. You guys, thanks for all the super chats, super stickers, for your memberships, for everything. Thank you for everything, everything, everything. Bye, May. I like your little handshakes there. All right, everybody, good night. Press the button, Frank. Bye. See you real soon.